I just survived 1,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. That's over 1 wow. million seconds. And to celebrate, I thought it would be a great idea to turn all 10 of my hardcore videos into one epic movie. I should really go outside. Watch as I go from a hardcore noob to a hardcore genius and transform this world into something crazy. So whether you love long YouTube videos like I do, or are going to fall asleep to my soothing voice, I know you'll love this movie. But anyway, please enjoy my first 1,000 days in Minecraft hardcore. I set myself a challenge to survive for as long as I can in hardcore Minecraft. That means that if I die, I lose everything. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe and let's begin. Okay guys, so let's make a brand new world. Let's call it Gilf's Hardcore World and make sure the game mode is on hardcore. That looks fine to me. Okay, so it looks like we've spawned in a, a desert, a mesa, uh, which is a very difficult spawn, I think. Uh, it looks cool, though. You know, I was, I was kind of hoping that I'd spawn in somewhere with loads of trees so I can start off and get some wood. But at least I've got sticks, I guess, from these dead bushes. Let's grab some wood. Now let's make a crafting table and some basic tools. What else can we see? Ooh, a village. Cross over here. Try not to fall to my death. I'm definitely not going to die in like the first episode. Ooh, more bread. Thank you. You literally didn't see anything. Get in your, get in your cauldron. So be it. Why are you running? Hello. It's almost night. I'm sure I can sleep here, right? These guys won't mind. Get off me. Thank you. And I've just survived my very first night of hardcore. Do you reckon I could take on two endermen? Hello. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Oh. Give me your pearls, boy. He did not give me his pearls. I would heal you, but I don't have the stuff to heal you. So I'll just take your experience levels, I guess. <laughs> Cheers. We're off to adventure. We we've matured. We are ready. It's day two, and I'm finally leaving the village. I'll uh, I'll return one day. Just you wait. I'll be I'll be big and strong. Do these trees have no leaves? I thought for a minute Herobrine might be in my game, and that is no way to play hardcore. There's a zombie. He doesn't know what he's messing with. He doesn't realise that this is actually going to be a long-running hardcore series. Years of practice for this moment. That zombie has no idea what's coming. Go for a swim. Look at that guy. See? <laughs> Rest in peace, man. We will we will head off. It's definitely not day three. This looks like a nice area. Any open cave entrances for me? No. Why are all the caves rubbish? Maybe I don't even need a shield. Come on. Come on. Come here. This guy's taking his time. What's he playing at? Hey. His friends come to join us. Thank you. Level 8 already. I'm like a professional. Look at this dude. What's he playing at? No. I was only joking, you didn't have to die like that. Are there any sheep over here? Hello? Sheep? You're not a sheep. I don't want to go back to that village. Not again. Okay, okay, good. A bit that goes deeper. Maybe I can find some iron. Is there anything I don't need? I don't need that. And there's just coal everywhere. I don't really want coal. I want iron. Some iron for the gilf. Hello? Iron? I feel like I've spent two weeks in this cave. How much have we got here? Oh, we have more than I thought. We've got 12. How many do I need? Four. Tools and armor. Let me, let me figure this out. Four, seven, add eight, add five. 24 for armor. So I need 33 iron. And I've got 15. So that's almost half. I see some green toes. Boom. I just made them blow up. Um, I feel kind of bad now. Yes, we must have enough now. I'm just lost. The new objective is escape. I still don't have a bed. I would like a pet dog. Let me put these down. Half of you in that one. And half of you in that one. And now it's just a matter of, of being safe. So I'm gonna box myself in. 
this is a very good idea. So I'm just going to wait here. Let's go. Oh, let's get all that lovely XP. Eat some bread to celebrate. Let's make some armor. We've done it, guys. We've got our iron armor and tools. Let's head back up to the surface, I think. I'm not going to do a lockdown and kill you. Just, just yet. Hey, hey, guys. Thank you. That was so kind of them to just give me that wall. This terrain is so scary. Cool. To celebrate. I'll uh, definitely not kill this rabbit. Nothing happened. I don't know what you're on about. And there's another one. <laughs> In fact, why why have I even put down a bed if I can't respawn? I'm going to sleep. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a, a spruce forest. Because we would like a pet dog. We've got some bones, which is good. So where are they? Good question. Hey, rabbits. Where are the wolves? <laughs> why is it? He just died of full damage. Let's go this way. We will not stop until we find a spruce forest. This looks like it goes on forever. So, good luck finding a spruce biome gill. Might be able to find something cool. I mean, the spruce would here. But there's no wolves. I can hear a skeleton. Oh, where is he? Hello. I'm just unstoppable now that I'm fully equipped. I'm scared for the mobs that I'm going to come up against. Oh, bow. Oh, get rid of this creeper. You were coming. Hi. Okay, well, he destroyed the bow. Anything for a gilf? Maybe a, a free ticket to the spruce biome? No? Okay. Should I make this jump? Is that risky? I think I'm well aware that it's risky. Okay, maybe I won't. For the, for the longevity of my series, I will not make that jump. Oh, some beehives. I'm going to steal some... Oh, they're angry. I think they give me poison, right? Ow. Yes, they do. Ooh. <laughs> ah! There's loads. I'm running. Well, that was stupid of me. Hello, spruce biome. This is a jungle. I do not want to jungle. It's down there. That's a spruce tree. That's a spruce tree if I've ever seen one. Let's go. Ow. Hang on. They're not spruce trees. Here we are. We're off to the uh, the nether portal. The room portal. And then we're not going to stop until we find spruce forest. <laughs> okay. Rough. Punched it. We are off on a, a sailing adventure for a, a tiger biome or a snowy biome. Let's see what we can find. Wow, dirt. Let's go. Ooh. And I like blue. What's down here? A door. We can breathe. Why is there so much dirt in here? so weird. Treasure map. That's good. What have we got? A stick. But this has to be the best chest I've ever seen. Meow. Now he seems very chill. Probably didn't like that kid. Oh. Snow. Emeralds. Maybe we're closer to getting a dog than we thought. Look at this donkey. Look at this dude. He's just chilling. Just like me. He's lovely. We are heading up there. Is it turning night again? Oh, it's a goat. Hi. Meh. I don't want goats. I want a dog. We're not stopping until we get a, a little pet dog. Ow. Can we get a pet goat? Look at these hills, though. They're cool, aren't they? What a lovely view. Some, some chickens playing in some water. We want to try and find some flat land so that we can build this house. And I've just got the biggest hills I've ever seen in my life. You would not believe how long I've been looking. 
It feels like years. I just want a dog and some spruce wood. Is that too much to ask? You have got a cool eyepiece. Give me your bread. This person's been trapped in the house for years. Go on, be free. There you go. Hello, bees. I did not destroy the last beehive I saw. I swear. Well, this is birch forest, which is just, I guess, not the complete opposite of what I want. This is dark oak, isn't it? Yeah. Wait. I mean, the spruce wood here. I mean, the spruce wood here. I mean, the spruce wood here. I thought I got spruce wood at the mine shaft, N not dark oak. Oh, the spruce trees just not spawn anymore. <laughs> okay, I am so tired. Oh, <gasps> yes. Do you know what's just happened, guys? All these mobs. Wow, so many. This is hardcore. I don't even know how long it's been. I've lost track of time. Finally. Okay, we did it. Well, at least we found spruce wood, I guess. <gasps> Was that a wolf? Oh, <gasps> yes, yes. Okay, finally. More than one. And his bones. It's my lucky day. Three. Why are there so many? Um, hey. Oh. I got loads of dogs. Hello. 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 Welcome to the clan. Look at this. I've got some dogs. Isn't that amazing? I'm so happy. That took so long. Ah, and there's some planes over here. Yeah, I'm off. Ice boating. Look at my <laughs> my dogs. Ah! I almost died. Look at me. I'm happy. Me and the boys. Hello, horsies. Are you happy for me? I'm happy for me. Should we build it here? Or over there? Or over there? Let's do a spin. We are going to build it over there. Ow. How did I do that? Let's grab some ink for the collars. Thank you very much. There they are. Hello. Let's grab some flowers and then we can make some dye. So we'll have a yellow one. And the blue one. I'm surprised I've lived this long, to be fair. I'm usually dead by now. Uh, oh, another village. It'd be nice to live near a village. Um, I'll probably level this bit out and use that. Yeah. First of all, though, we are going to colour the collars of my dogs. Okay, very cool. So, you can be yellow. Who wants to be blue? You can be blue. Come here. Okay, you're blue. And then you're grey. Stand still. You're grey. And then orange. Who's who's left? Is it you? Nope. It's you. Nice. Let's go. We got all my dogs with cool collars. Now I'm gonna start building my house. You can you can sit here for me. Thank you. Okay. This is clear. Now I need some more spruce wood because I've, I've run out. I want to make a roof. Some more bees over there, actually. 
Do you feel like they remember the fact that I attacked their friends? I mean, I didn't even attack them. I just stole their behind. There's a huge difference. So I didn't attack them, I just destroyed their home. Excuse me, thank you very much. Well, I'm not dead yet. That's a good sign. I, I definitely think that going to sleep as soon as I can is definitely a good idea. Just because it stops the mobs from spawning. And they're pretty tough in this mood. Judging by that enderman that I fought earlier. And I'll grab these saplings. Cool. Well, we've got our spruce wood. We've got 46. So let's head home and make a roof for our house. Hello. Leave me alone. There we go. Okay. Where is my house? It's this way. I think. There it is. There's my house. Hello, horsies. Nice to see you again. And hello, dogs. Hey, guys. I'll make some more stairs. And then we'll make, like, a, a way up to the roof. So we'll start here. Two, three, four. And break these. Cool. Now, we're on the roof. What a... A lovely view we've got pumpkins we've got some horses we've got some flowers and some cows let's start making a, uh, a roof then Hello, pig. I'm pretty happy with it. In the future, we'll add some interior. So probably like a carpet and some some cool little pieces to add a bit of personality to my house. Because at the minute, it's it's just cobblestone and wood. I think the replay. Ah! Leave me alone. Water spiders. Leave me alone. They really came out of nowhere. Hi, dogs. I'm home. Okay to fight them very well yeah no 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 that's what i thought can i sleep now that'd be great thank you is that in the windows and some torches Ooh, time for the big reveal Oh, oh. Ooh. That's quite nice. And over time, I'll add small details to it. But right now, that is a good starter house. I'm happy. Good job, Gilf. I think that's alright. I'm going to decide that that's fine. And then we go to sleep. Oh, I'll make one more bed, actually. A yellow one in the middle, please. Thank you. And then we'll go to sleep. With my dogs. My lovely dogs. Okay. Well, that is my house. Oh, hello, burning zombie. I'm trying to finish my video here. Thank you. Well, this is my house. That was my very first episode of my brand new hardcore series. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Today I'm going to be building a massive chicken farm so that I never run out of food ever again. But first of all, we need to name this dog. Hooray! Meet Tim. In the last episode, I built my house, which is looking pretty good. Finally, my spruce trees have grown. Let's just chop it all down. No, my axe. Let's head over to my new neighbors and see if they've got any cool traits. Sorry for taking all your crops, but I need 15 more carrots, and then I can make that trade. Oh, guys, I'm one carrot away. No, I don't think I have any carrots. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. I guess that means that I should make a farm. I think behind my house is a good flat area. So this is going to be a circular farm, and I'm going to have it all the way up there. 
That was the exact amount of carrots I had. That was very satisfying. This is gonna be the best farm on the planet. No, my hoe! To build this giant chicken, I'm gonna need some concrete. Wow. Am I gonna die? No. No, 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 no. I'm over water, I'll be fine. Ah, let's go, ah, ah, I survived, let's go! Now we just stand here and mine our yellow concrete. Let's build it over here. One block here and another block here. <laughs> These are my chicken feet. How's my farm doing? I think they're still growing. That's okay. There's lots of horses and, and there's a chicken. Hey chickens. I'll come back for you later when I put you in your new home. Oh, I did not mean to give you the pickaxe. I'm sorry, Peggy. That's right, I remember all my dogs by their names. I'm a good dog owner. Let's head over to our brand new mining spot. Let me eat some, some soggy bread. That is disgusting. Let's start with a three by three, I think. My very first carrots have grown. Awesome. Whoa. Guys, I think this might be an abandoned mine shaft. <gasps> There's a creeper. This might be a problem. Ah, I don't know if I want to do this. Hey, is there a spawner in there? I can't tell. Hey, little sir! That made me jump out of my skin. <laughs> no, I'm being poisoned. Is now the right time to mention that I'm scared of spiders? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I almost died. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, okay. Well, there's a nice cave, which is good. Hopefully you can find an easy way down. This is definitely an easy way down. I need to be so careful. If there's like a skeleton that shoots me off, I am dead. Look how deep that goes. That is crazy. Hey, Creeper, how are you doing? My name is Gil. You may have heard me screaming a few minutes ago. Nice, redstone. We're gonna need some redstone later. So this is actually a really good find. So I might head down there and see if we can find any diamonds. It's very windy. It might be leading somewhere though, guys. No, it doesn't lead anywhere. I need some quartz for this farm. So I really, really hope I can find some diamonds. Whoa, look, there's a glow squid. I'll save you, I'll save you. No! We might be here for a while. <gasps> diamonds! Give me third. Yes! That took forever, guys. Whoa, we've come across a lava pool, guys. Look at everything just burning. <gasps> yes! More diamonds! We've got nine diamonds. Well, let's just go back the way we came. I am happy we have enough diamonds to make a pickaxe. And this is where the glow squid died. So I'll place a torch in memory of the glow squid. I'll continue his legacy. Uh, no, 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 I'm getting out of here. I forgot that I was scared of spiders. Scrub, get out of here. Deserved. I'm one step closer to curing my phobia. There's a skeleton. There's more than one. There's a cow. How many skeletons are there? I know I said I needed some, but I don't need them anymore. Leave me alone. Ow! Oh, and now it's raining. Great. Okay, come on. Okay, there's one. There's one. <gasps> Lining! Guys, this is so scary. Let's get back inside. Let's go to sleep. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. That's right, silly skeleton. Cook. How's my farm? I think my farm's coming along okay as well. Maybe I'll change the floor, actually, now that I've got some cool deep state bricks. Get out of here. Come on, leave. Nice. Let's make our diamond pickaxe. You will never know how long this took to get. We're higher than my house right now. Why am I doing this again? Ooh. Wow. There we go. Look at it scattered all over the place. Let's start building our giant chicken body. I am so excited for you guys to see what this is going to be like. Why are the blocks invisible? Uh-oh. Please don't fall. If anyone knows why these blocks are disappearing, please let me know in the comments. This chicken is going to be absolutely massive. Oh, look. An actual chicken has appeared. Do you think this is accurate? What if I, uh, what if I were to maybe bribe you? What do you think of the chicken? He loves it. We're also going to go to the nether at some point, because why not? I forgot to put it in the water. Ah, ah, it disappeared again. Why would you do that game? 
Maybe, just maybe. I'll allow the sun to go down without going straight to sleep. I heard that the skeletons want to give me their bones. Why wouldn't they? Get away. Please don't blow up. Please. Can't have you making a mess. Boop. 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 This guy didn't drop any bones, though. That guy has got some lovely boots. I'm going to go take his shoes. Come on, come on. Ah, there's one hit. Whoa, two hits. Nice. Hello, skeletons. Have you come to fight me? Nice. He did drop his boots. Nice. I, I have stolen that guy's boots. I don't know whether to feel good or bad. <laughs> they, they will probably break within one hit. <gasps> no way. There's a creeper right by my door. It's chasing me. Why would you do that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, guys, help. I know you can't help me, you just viewers, but send me your good wishes. <laughs> Go away, creeper. That was terrifying. Why was he hiding? When did creepers become so clever? If we head back to that lava pool where we found those diamonds, we can probably get some obsidian. First, it's carrot time. Okay, so now that I've got loads and loads of carrots, we can do a trade with a villager. That will probably stop him from despawning, right? Get my boat. Over to Gilf's house. What should we name this guy? Let me know in the comments. He's just chilling. He's got a fun hat. So do I. There we go. I'm definitely not just trapping this guy. Ooh, take an emerald. Yay! So we just got an emerald. What a deal just as the achievement says through the cobwebs is that a witch welcome to gilf's little room of death that witch just tried to poison me don't do it ow galvia no i've had enough of you ah okay okay and oh, we got the creeper i see your toes you silly witch didn't even give me anything what a waste who's gonna win oh the skeleton won now that we've got our brand new diamond pickaxe let's dig some obsidian i'm using the wrong pickaxe what am i doing Okay, guys, we've got 14 pieces of obsidian, which means that we can make a portal to go to the nether. We've just got to survive our journey back to my house. Whoa, you shot me out of nowhere. Get him, bat. The bat's doing nothing. My sword broke on the last hit of that skeleton. That was way too close, guys. Uh-oh, I don't have the things to make a sword, so I might just need to use my axe for now. Oh, it's getting dark. Let's get back really quickly. Why are you guys outside my house? Go away. Look at him burn. You you deserve to burn. You, you are very annoying. What is it, chicken? What do you want? You want people to subscribe to Gilf for more episodes of Minecraft Hardcore? I completely agree with you. You should definitely do that, guys. Whoa, why is there a spider on my house? You are not welcome. There's one corner. Ooh. Ow. I've built my I've built my portal too tall. Let's just go with it. There's my nether portal. Albeit a sort of a long one. And here we go, guys. Our first time going to the nether. Whoa. We're in a tree. <laughs> Why are we in a tree? That's a big ravine. But there's some quartz. We've got to be super careful not to cook ourselves in the lava. I got what I came for. I've got seven quartz, which is more than enough. Let's have a look around. Take some twisting vines. I really like shroom lights, so I think I'm going to take some. Ah! Ah! Guys, I'm on fire! Get home, quick! Gilf! Get home! Please! Ooh. That is why you don't stay in the nether for too long. That was really scary. I almost died. This cow has no idea what I've just been through. He will never know the pain, or will he? Hello, cow. Ha ha ha! That was karma, but the cow now knows my pain. Shall I go save him? Will I, will I just melt? It's okay, Mr. Cow, I've changed my mind. 
Go. Go home. Thank you. There you go. He's nice and uh, no one will believe him that he's been to the nether. Please don't go invisible on me this time. I think this is a new high limit. Third jump of the video. Whoa. We made it. Of course we did. Oh, it's Turtle. Hey. Be free, Mr. Turtle. One day I'll have a, a very nice home for you. Okay, guys, so the body of my chicken is done. It doesn't have a head, though, so it's a bit of a headless chicken at the minute. What do we need? A chest. We need some hoppers. We just need dispensers and an observer and some redstone. We just need to find a lava source block. All the way up there. That's dangerous. Oh, a bastion. Nice. There's our lava source. Now, I don't really feel strong enough to go for the bastion right now. But we should probably go after it very soon. Maybe in the next episode. Let's go for these twisting vines. Okay, they work. Of course they work. But you never know. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That was so stupid. Why did I do that? Guys, I think I might be lost in the nether. Now this isn't it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm not lost. Let's get out of here. We finally have what we need to make our giant chicken farm. If you made it to this point in the video, please consider subscribing as this has taken me forever. Oh, chicken. Come here, please. So this is where we drop chickens in. And there's some over there. And there. Let's collect them as well. You guys aren't very clever, are you? I didn't think I'd have to resort to this chickens. I thought you'd be clever enough. But no, I was wrong. Yay. Get in. Go on. There you go. Okay. Well, down the dirt spiral I go. I need to go to sleep. Come on. Stop falling. Thank you. Okay. Get in. Go on. There we go. Hopefully, this will work. Well, here is my chicken farm, guys. A chicken. We'll lay an egg, which will be shot out into this chamber right here. And what we want to do is keep having these chickens lay eggs, which will then cook them. Don't go into my house. If you go into my house, I'll kill you. Oh. And there we go, guys. My giant chicken. And just like that, I've completed my chicken farm inside of a giant chicken. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Today I'm going to be getting the best armor and tools in Minecraft so that I never die. But I'm hungry. What can I eat? The first step to becoming stacked is finding diamonds. Please don't drown, please don't drown, please don't drown. This is 100% the cave. I told you! Oh, ah, ah, ah! <gasps> Guys, I found a dungeon. Hi, can I whack you in your ankles? Yeah, I can. Okay, let me in. What's in the chest? <gasps> yes! A music disc! Oh, this is so good. Hello, diamonds. Ow. Oh, man, I'm nearly dead. Ow, frick. So I'm getting attacked quite a lot by mobs, which means I should probably get better armor. <gasps> diamonds. Only 25 diamonds to go. You want a lot of... He respawned. He <laughs> Yes. More diamonds. Bye. Uh, uh. Oh, there's the dreaded spawner. Just like how I had the scariest moment of my life last episode. Can't tell. Hey, little. Sir! That made me jump out of my skin. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Don't nod at me, child. You're evil. Yeah. This cave system is the vastest cave system I've ever found. Oh! Hey! hey. Hey, boys. Let's just kill some zombies. There we go. We've got two more golden apples. Let's go. Hey, diamonds. Another single diamond. Why? I'm going to slowly go insane looking for diamonds, guys. Maybe I already have. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Run. Run. Oh, no. That was close. Oh, my. It's a whole family. How did I not block that? Okay. 
Oh, there's a standoff. Who's going to win? My money's on this guy. And, oh. oh, it's my house. We're not even far away. I'm so happy to be in the service again. Oh, a map. What have we got here? We can use this to get some more bread. Yeah, we got a lot of bread. Get out of your bed. It's my bed. I wish I had like a backpack or something. <laughs> that would be very helpful. Let's have a look at this very treasure map. See what we can find. That's north. So I need to go that way. This buried treasure is right by my house. Let's get to work. Oh, it's right there. Let's go. Whoa, some gold. Some heart of the sea. I, I don't know what that does. I can't remember. Thank you. Now let's head home. It's been too long. <laughs> let's, let's head straight upstairs and, and sort our stuff out. Let's get to work and making some diamond armor. I need seven more diamonds so that I can get full diamond armor and tools. I will be right back. We have finally got our full diamond armor and tools. All we need to do now is to upgrade it to netherite. First of all, I'm gonna make a couple of farms. I'm gonna make a sheep farm and a cow farm. Let's decide where to put them. What looks like a good area to you? Or maybe behind my, um, behind my house. Yeah, let, let's put some here. We're one short. Whoa, that is one fat spruce tree. Well, that giant tree was worth it. We got 50 wood. So let's put these here. Excellent. Let's go find us some animals. Hello. Would you like to be my first customer? Welcome, welcome. You will not regret this. Let's find some more animals. There's a sheep. Whoa, there's loads of cows as well. Okay. We'll definitely head over that way. All of you follow me. I have a great reward for you. Please, please come along to Gilf's farm. Welcome, welcome. Sorry. So we've got two tiny farms here of, of sheep and cattle. Is my villager still here? Hi. He lives. I thought someone would have killed him by now. Hello. I'm just going to annoy you until you become my pet. There we go. I made a new friend. I've just got my very first pet horse and hopefully the only one that I'll ever need. What should I call him? Let me know in the comments. Follow me for a life of being part of my massive chicken farm. It's ethical. It's time to climb the dirt staircase to your new jobs as my egg layers. So I've added quite a few more chickens to the chicken farm. I hope they have fun. Hello, sheep. Let's make some babies and some baby cows too. Good morning, sheep. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. So I've just planted some sugar cane. This guy right here is going to look after it for us, right? Yeah, definitely. And let's grab some cobble and upgrade my farm. So the idea is I need lots of cows so that I can get a lot of leather. And I need a lot of leather because I need some books. And to make books, I need paper. With all that, I'll make some bookshelves and a crafting table. And we're going to make some incredibly overpowered armor. And there we go. The third floor of my farm is complete. We're almost as high as my house. I wonder if maybe one day we'll go all the way up to the sky. We can actually buy some emeralds for carrots. Thank you very much. Have a good day. This area is kind of patchy. I, I might fill it in. And this area is nicely patched up. Good job, Gil. Maybe we can start doing a floor. Would you like to come upstairs so that I can do my floor? Come on. Up you come. There's Ben. So now that I've got enough wool and enough carpets to change this floor, let's just get straight to it. A white, a yellow, and a grey. And this is my floor with its random design. And it's also been requested that I make a few changes to my roof. We're just going to make a tiny overhang. And this is my changed roof. What do you think? It is finally time for me to head to the nether. Whoosh. I'm already scared. I just looked at an enderman. Get away! Well, I've just lost half my health already, and I, I, I've just stepped out the portal. Good start. Good start. So, guys, there's a bastion right there, and I'm really stupid, so I am going to go for it. I'm probably die. Hopefully, there's no skeletons or something that'll push me off. I haven't thought about that. And now I'm nervous. <laughs> Look at this. I'm right over the lava. I do not feel safe. Oh, my God. There's a gas. I forgot gas. I forgot they existed. There's two coming towards me. Yeah, I'm going to head back and grab a bow. 
so that I can shoot the ghasts. They're damaged. I'll have to take them. I'm not exactly the, the safest player as it is. This is hardcore, so I really need to try not to die. <laughs> I think I might just have enough blocks. Okay, we're, we're a whole one block short. We made it. You are not my friend, are you? Ooh, let's go. I'm proud of myself for not dying. Hello. Hee <laughs> hee I annoyed them all. They all want to kill me. <laughs> they're, really, they're just falling to their deaths to try and kill me. Ah, oh, lovely. Please don't kill me. What? Why have they stopped attacking me? Wait, what? They're being friendly again. Hello. I'm one with... Ah! Keep back, keep back, keep back, keep back. Ah! You got so much health! Leave me alone. I don't even know why. What did I do? What did I do to you? Goodbye. Gilfed. Remind me to take the lanterns, guys. I'll put them in my house. Hello. Would you like to trade? Give me some ender pearls. Gravel? That's not an ender pearl. I don't want gravel. Soul sand? I don't want that either. You're awful. Let's be very careful. Ooh! Pig step. I have an idea. Why don't I just get out of here? It's been an honor. Actually, it's been a dishonor. Just get me home, please. Just keep running. I'm so proud of you, man. Oh, I forgot to get another right. Good night. Hello, dogs. Don't mind me. I've, I've just been literally to hell and back to get these lanterns. I'm off to go grab some netherite, my friends. I'll return soon. Let's head down to... I think it's Y15. We're all ready to start bed mining. We just need to make some beds. Boo. So we place a bed there. Oh, yes. Just like that. But preferably without taking damage. I'm on fire. It does create a lot of fire. Hello, ancient debris. Well, hey, my very first ancient debris. I'm very happy. Hey, and there's a bit more. It's always good to mine around the block that you destroy because sometimes there's some little hidden bits. So I'm going to need 36 pieces of ancient debris to get full netherite. Hey, there's some more. Did you know punching fire extinguishes it? Do not try that in real life, please. I'm not responsible for anyone that burns their hands. Uh-oh, lava. And you can see I've come a very long way. Let's keep going. So there's 11 beds worth. I got five. We can, in fact, make our very first piece of netherite armor or tools. I'll do a netherite pickaxe. We have got five pieces of netherite scraps and we need to combine it with gold. So if I do this and do this, we have got our very first netherite ingot. Woohoo! We grab the diamond item that we want to convert to netherite, and there we go. A mending netherite pickaxe. I should also be able to make an enchanting table at last. Oh wow, that was a lot of mobs. Okay, let me grab my sword real quick. Jeez. A full gold zombie. I wish this didn't have to happen, man. Come on, don't burn to death. Straight into a lava pool. Still no ancient debris? Is this a joke? You know, this path must just be unlucky. Look at all this. This is such a long tunnel. Freak. That's the past version of me. It's off to find netherite. Oh. Oh no. Oh! How did I survive that? I just swam through lava. <laughs> I need to be careful. Uh, oh, I'm nearly dead. What? I don't want this lava. Give me ancient debris, please. Let's not forget that this is literally like the whole lava dimension. What is wrong with this game? I'm so unlucky. What do I need, little zombie pig boy? One more ancient debris, and then I finally have enough. <gasps> Yes! We finally have got the last piece of ancient debris. I don't even know how long I've been recording to get this. We're heading up this staircase for the last time. Goodbye, Nether. I hate you. Horsey, I got the ancient debris. Thank you, Horsey. The pain that I've been through today. 
Oh, let's just let that cook. Six. Twelve. Let's go over to our friend and get some emeralds. Okay. Yeah, I got ten emeralds. Let's go. My lovely, lovely netherite scraps. It only took a billion years. What? Eight netherite ingots. All that hours to get eight ingots. But finally, we can upgrade our items. And I have one spare. So I have finally got full netherite tools and armor. But now, I think we should enchant our armor. Oh, <gasps> there's my one diamond. Okay, okay. I'm wearing netherite. You won't stop me, Creeper. Woohoo! Diamonds. We can head back up now. We have the one diamond we need to make an enchanting table, which is made like this. Hooray. Let's put it in the attic. What do you think, Tim? Pretty cool, right? <coughs> now that I've done that, I need some leather. Any cows for a gill? Ow! Any leather? Oh, a bee. If for some reason, I thought it was going to attack me. I mean, I have done some pretty horrible things to bees in this game. Hello. Woo. It's quite fun one-hitting things. It's addictive. Hello, cow. Let's head back. Let's make some more bookshelves. Five more. It's getting there. So we're halfway. I can make an anvil for later. What? No leather. I didn't get a single piece of leather from that group. I thought there was a creeper in my house, but there's just my emerald blocks. Let's head inside and have a rest. Ooh. Oh, we can make 33. Perfect. That's literally the exact amount that we need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Woohoo! Now this should be ready to go. Let me grab my lapis and we can finally get to uh, enchanting things. So first off, Let's do our chest plate. Yeah, protection four. Um, oh, that is good. Let's go. Efficiency four. So guys, I have fully enchanted all my netherite armor and tools. I am feeling stacked. Let's go through what enchantments I've got. Protection two, unbreaking three on my helmet. Protection four, unbreaking three, thorns two on my chest plate. Protection four, unbreaking three on my legs. Projectile protection three on my boots. We've got knockback two, smite four, and fire aspect two on my sword, which is a god sword. We've got mending on my pickaxe. We've got unbreaking three and efficiency four on my axe. And we've got efficiency two on my shovel. I am so powerful. Why don't we test out our new weapon on this guy? Burn. Ow! I forgot they spat at me. But I'm not taking damage from it. Yeah, you're not spitting at me anymore, are you? Silly llama. So on that note, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Today I'm going to be beating every single boss in Minecraft Hardcore. That means I'm going to be fighting these guys. Our very first task is to complete a raid. So we need to find a group of pillagers. Surely there's got to be one nearby. Anything around here? Oh, there we go. A pillager outpost. Oh, pillagers. Would you like to fight me? Look at them. They're just chilling. Might take a sip of my brand new drink. Nice. <laughs> I guess now we should just take out the rest of them. Everybody's here now. Hey, guys. I'm too overpowered. So basically, now that I've got this curse, I'm going to run to a village and complete the raid because that's where we'll find our first boss. Yeah, music desk. Okay, guys, <laughs> the raid is starting. Over there. Huh. Ow. Huh. Oh, man, that guy really hurt me. Whoa, look how many there are. Get out of here. Ah! Ah! Oh, man. Oh, okay, cool. We got a totem. It's just this massive thing now. Ow. Ah! Ah! Oh, man. The raid is finally complete, and from it, I've got two totems of undying. Next up, I think it's time that we use our hero of the village effect to get mending. Go away. Maybe we could, not kidnap, but maybe we could capture a new villager. We're off to get mending, which is an amazing enchantment, really, because it means that every time I get XP, it actually repairs my tools and armor. Would you like to get in my boat? 
Why have both of you got in my boat? No! Let's go over here. Sorry, sheep. Excuse me as I land boat. Let's put him next door. This might take a while. Finally! <laughs> I don't even know how long that took. Let's see if we can buy it. How expensive. Let's put mending on my sword. And cool it. Gilf's awesome mega sword. Now I'm going to create a carpet for this floor. Let's get shearing. I've changed the carpet. It's now blue instead of yellow. I've added some seats with some paintings and also a computer. Our next boss is the ocean monument and we could definitely do with some potions. So we're going to have to find a nether fortress to get the nether warts and everything that we need. No. Okay. Where could one be? Oh, it's a baby. Hello. Haha. <laughs> Oh, a fortress. Let's go. Can we find any nether wards? Yes. It's the first blaze rod. Hey. Ow, ow, ow. Anything for a gilf? Not you. There we go. Oh, I'm in trouble. There's a gas. Boom. Let's head home. Water breathing, night vision, strength, regeneration. Let's go kill some guardians. It's time to fight the second boss. And I'm going to kill them all. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to head straight through the front door. How many guardians are there? Oh, my days. So I didn't actually get a single elder guardian. That was a practice run, okay? One, two, five. Awesome. Eight minutes of invisibility. That's very good. I'm off on an adventure, dogs. Wish me luck. Second time lucky. Hello, horrible monsters. I'm here. Wait, they can see me? No! You're not supposed to see me. Put our first TNT down. Let's get in. Hey, fish. Oh, cool. Okay, we got the first one. There it is. There's the second one. Nice. I can't breathe. Go! Get in. Okay, that was really close. Yes, there it is. I just saw it. Okay, okay. I think we've got them all. So if I wait for a minute, then I should be able to start mining things. There's the core. Hey. Let's go. We got the core. You guys suck. Yeah. Get out of here. Let's go home. I think there's a guardian in my boat. Come on. Off we go. You silly, silly guardian. You thought you could stop me. No. See you later, loser. And there we go. We have now taken down the ocean monument. All that's left are the wither and the ender dragon. But this is 1.19, which means I'm going to have to fight the brand new warden. And I don't like the sound of that at all. I've had a pretty cool idea, actually. I've been fighting these bosses. And when I fight these bosses, I get cool things. But what am I going to do with all of it? Let's make an achievement haul. Give me your leaves. I gave the tree a very cool haircut. Michael the mullet tree, because I think his hair looks like a mullet. Welcome to the kill family, I guess. Hey, doggies. Hi. Hi. Hopefully that doesn't make you guys mate. Oh, a puppy. You have a big head. Well, I've, I've just created a puppy. Welcome to the family. We've already got two new additions. We'll come up with a name for you. Don't you worry. We are off to, to build our achievement hall. So, here we are. First of all, we have got the raid. It's the very first thing I did. So, I'm going to place down one of my totems. Just like that. Next up, I fought some guardians and elder guardians. So, I'm going to place in a sponge. We're going after the wither. So, I'll leave that there. But this is my achievement hall. It's not full yet, but it will be. So, let's go after them now, I guess. What we want is some wither skeleton schools so that we can make the wither. He, come at me. What? Oh, 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 he's burning. Get out of here, Enderman. That was surprisingly easy, actually. It's almost like I've got really good tools. I'd like to trade with you, please. Oh, they just want to kill me. Okay, you're deaf. Where are we going to find wither skeletons? Did I get your head? No. Oh, I got fire, though. Right, let's get rid of these. Ooh, okay. Come to Gilf. Can I have your head? No, I guess not. Oh, <gasps> yes! He dropped his head. Let's go. We've got three Wither Skeleton Schools. Let's get out of here. So now we have what we need to spawn the Wither. But there's a twist. 
I'm not going to be fighting it alone. In fact, the Ender Dragon's going to be helping me. First things first, we need to find a stronghold. Oh, there's a group of three Endermen over there. It's a safe. When has anything I've ever done been safe? Let's be honest. Oh, I just got a double kill. Now that I have enough ender pills to make 16 eyes of ender, we can go and look for the stronghold. But I think it would definitely help me to make some more potions first. Let's see if we've got phantom membranes. Oh, I do have some. And we'll also need my golden apples, definitely. So we've got 16 minutes of strength, 20 minutes of slow falling, which we definitely don't need. And there is my 8 minutes of speed. I am a master brewer. How do I make arrows? Let's see if we've got any feathers in our giant chicken. Wow, that's a lot. No, I'm not giving you any steak after last time. We're going to keep doing this until all of it turns into flint. Yay! 100 arrows. Perfect. It's getting exciting now. I am going after the dragon and the wither at the same time. Kind of stupid, isn't it? Hopefully, I won't lose all the eyes of Ender. And hopefully, I don't find a stronghold on the way to the end. There's so many things that could go wrong. So wish me luck. Let's grab some milk. Thank you very much. Listen here, Peggy the dog. I'm going on an adventure. Let's go looking for the stronghold. Oh, it's taken us in this direction. It broke! I'm a bit scared. This is going to be a perilous journey. Hello, donkey. You have no idea what I'm about to do. Ooh, I'm not catching that one. I could also grab a pumpkin and carve it for the Enderman. Hey, piggy. Let's see where it takes us now. Forwards. This is pretty cool parkour, actually. There's a little thing under the water here. I wonder if they've got a cool chest for me. Wheat and a fishing rod. And since I can't really remember the way back, I'm going to have to go to the dragon, kill the wither, just to get that portal that takes me home. Oh, the mobs are coming after me. Stay away. I do not want to be your friend. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Please leave me alone. Get out of here. Where to? Oh, this way. Whee! This is so fast. We'll get there in no time. They're like, what is this guy doing? Good question. I'm trying to survive. Well, it said it was just forwards. Maybe it's below me right now. That'd be cool. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because it'd be really watery. Oh, it's behind me. Oh, I'm getting excited now. Hi, Spodder. You know, you're not a water spider. Not with those skills, noob. So I'm pretty sure the stronghold is underneath me right now. We're going to have a look. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh. Let's keep going down. Oh, <gasps> this is it. It's time. <gasps> Let's have a look around. Be brave, Gilf. Hello there. I was wondering if you could direct me to the portal room, please. Oh, there's a creeper prisoner. There's no going back now anyway. I can sense it. It's nearby. It has to be. Oh, there's a dungeon. A music disc. Come at me. Take me to your portal. If there's not a single eye vendor in the portal, I have enough to fill it anyway. Maybe this is just a stronghold that doesn't have a portal. Maybe they didn't get around to building one. I'm going crazy out here. Oh, portal room. You're not a portal. Oh, portal room. Hi. Hee <laughs> hee. It literally has one eye vendor in it. Well, guys, time for me to go to the end. Oh, man. And last one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I have to bridge across. Hey, dragon, how's it going? I'm going to build a wither now. Uh, let's build it here. One, two, three, run! <laughs> Both of them. Uh oh, they're already coming after me. Run! Oh, no. Oh, no. This was really stupid. Where is it? Oh, brilliant. How do I defend myself? What is going on? Can you let me out, please? Why is your breath so stinky? Oh, the wither's going after the dragon. Oh no, I've been knocked off. We've got the totem out just in case. Come on. Okay, I got another. Oh no, now he's after me. Run! This is risky. I, I'm very scared. Oh, the dragon just flew underneath me. Don't go after me with it. We've got this. I think we've got this, guys. I feel sorry for the Enderman. This place is a war zone. 
You have got this. You are going to kill the dragon. Should we get some dragon's breath? Your breath stinks, but I'll put some in the bottle. Oh my goodness. How on earth did I survive that? I mean, look at them go. At least there's a lot of ender pills like that. Okay, we got a good chunk. <gasps> I'm so lucky. Again. Goodbye, dragon. Goodbye. No. It's so low. Come on. One more. Oh, one more. Yes. We got the dragon. Let's collect that lovely XP. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mr. Wither. It's your turn. How do you take no damage? <gasps> no way. <laughs> I actually just died to the Wither. How am I supposed to kill this guy? Well, it doesn't seem that I'm able to kill the Wither. So I've come up with an idea. Maybe if I dig a hole, I can actually trap him. The Wither's just annoying because he regenerates. Follow me, please. He's still coming after me. Come at me. Wait, he can break Enzo? No. Oh, that was so close. Well, we killed the dragon, but we just can't seem to kill the wither. Maybe we can find an entity and get some cool stuff to kill him with. Get out of here. I escaped. Let's go looking for an entity. Uh, I don't see a ship. Is there a ship? Is that a ship? Let's jump across. Oh, there is a ship. Now we just need to work our way up here. Hi. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm levitating. Hey, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, please stop. Oh, a mending pickaxe. That's good. Let's keep going. What? How many of you are there? Too many. This way. Oh, no. Please, no. Go for it. Okay, I made it. I made it. Wow, that was stupid of me. Dodge. Go on. Go away. Diamond horse armor. Cool. Leggings. We need leggings, don't we? Here's the elytra. Oh, yeah. We have got ourselves an elytra. Let's fly away. Here we are. Yoink. We have got the dragon head. It's a bit big. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa. We're flying. Now let's try and figure out my way back. There's our way home. Let's try not to fall off this bridge. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, the wither's still here. How do we beat this guy? He's too powerful. Woo. Dragon egg. Let's go home. Okay, we're home. Hi, dogs. I'm back. I did actually kill the dragon. Let's change your armor. There you go. And then we can put down the end stone and the dragon egg. Let's go. We still need the nether star. And I'll make a new bow. Maybe if I can get power or something on it. Give me a good bow. Infinity. Power three. Flame. Perfect. You got the skill. I can hear him. Please die. Okay, halfway. Oh, man. I'm so scared. Oh, he's getting attacked by the Enderman. Come on, please. Oh, I got it. I got it. Let's go. Oh, I got the wither. <laughs> I'm so worn out. We got another star. I'm going to head home and relax. I'm very hurt, both physically and emotionally. I'm just going to go to sleep. So we've defeated the Evoker, the Elder Guardians, the Ender Dragon, and now we've also defeated the wither. Let's put my nether star in the achievement hall. Hello, Michael. Thank you for looking after the house. And we can put down our item frame and our nether star. Look at this. So now we've got four and there's just one space in the middle right here. Can you guess who it's for? Let's go find the warden. We're off on an adventure with my horse who is named Max. You're very slow actually. I feel like I could have just taken the boat. Oh Max, please swim up. Why are you doing this? I'm sending you home. Well, that was a nice walk for you, I guess. See you later, Max. Look after the house, at least. This is where I did my skating in the first episode. Look at me go. Woo! Screw! Probably should have written down the coordinates of my house, because I might get lost on the way home. I feel like I spent most of my life in these boats. My arms must be really tired. Ooh, an emerald. Let's go through this big ravine. See where it takes us. Wow, so cool. A cave. Hello. Nice trip, my guy. I apologize for the bad joke. We are looking for an ancient city, so I guess we'll just keep going deeper. Ooh, ugh. a skulk dungeon. Please tell me it doesn't spawn wardens. <gasps> get away. That is not safe at all. Can I break it? Wait, I get XP from it. It's just free XP. Let's go. This is the ancient city. Oh, wow. These blocks here can detect me if I move or do anything, and they can summon the Warden. From what I've heard, there's no point even trying to use a shield against the Warden, so I'll just hold my torch. It's so quiet. It's unnerving. It's really, really dark as well, as you'd expect from a place called the Deep Dark. I forgot my totem as well. Uh-oh. I set one of the things off. 
I'm really scared. If I open this chest, is it going to summon a warden? Get out of here, Gil. I didn't even open the chest. Let's do the uh, the quickest looting of my life. What is this stuff? I didn't even have inventory space. This is horrible. I've never felt so on edge. At least with the dragon and the wither, you know that they're there. I think we're good. Oh, no. Run. Run. Where is he? <gasps> oh, my. That's the warden. He's looking for me. Why is your walk so weird? Oh, I guess I offended him. Rumor has it that in the ancient city, there are some disc fragments. We're going to try and steal one. I don't like those things. Snitch blocks. That's what they are. Don't mind me being stupid enough to try and loot an ancient city. Echo shards. I don't know what they are. So these echo shards let me make something called a recovery compass, which takes me in the direction of where I died. But the thing is, I'm in hardcore. So they're kind of pointless. Gilf's adventure in the ancient city. Not scary at all. Ooh, some more chests. Is he just gonna like jump on me as soon as I open this chest though? Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. It's now a good time to announce that I'm not a fan of the warden. Go Gilf, go. Can he find me like this? He can. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. We're just gonna dig up and leave the ancient city. I think we've escaped. That was horrifying. But I'm not done, I still need to actually hit the warden. <laughs> so, let's go back in. Okay, we're back in. I'm not scared at all. Be brave, be brave. There is absolutely nothing that could go wrong. Ooh, this is very, very sketchy. Disc fragment, let's go. We got what we need. Get out of there. This is the most stressful video I've ever made. So please give it a like and please subscribe. I need your support right now. Uh-oh. So even changing your... Uh-oh. Get out of there, Gil. Go. Just go. Just go. Where's my way out? I know I've been running away. It's because I want you to get some exercise. I'm actually very thoughtful. I want you to be really healthy. I'm definitely not stealing from your home. I'm just relocating your stuff. We've met the warden, but the one thing we haven't done is hit the warden. We're going to be giving the warden a little bit of guilt power. Oh, it's shouting. Okay, okay. Here he is, here he is. Hi, warden. I'm Gil. Huge fan. I love your work, but not when it involves my death. Where is he? Oh, <gasps> there he is. Oh, warden. I hit him, I hit him. You're gonna die, Warden. Maybe I'm gonna die. Oh no, just go, just go, Gil. Please survive, please survive. I shouldn't have done that, I hit him way too many times. He's still coming after me, I think. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was just for the video. We need to get to the surface and I'll, I'll just go home. I'll never come back. I think we've managed to get away from him now. I think this is the surface. Please show me daylight. Oh, it's so wonderful. I don't even care that I'm over a thousand blocks away from home. I survived the ancient city. Let's go home. Squid, you have no idea how simple your lives are. Let's celebrate by skating. I hope he doesn't turn up at my house and demand that I give him the disc fragments back. That's my achievement hall. Awesome. I feel nothing now when I fight regular mobs. We've earned a good sleep, I think. Hi, dogs. Nice to see you again. Let's finish off the achievement hall. So, our chiseled deep slate goes down. We place our glass, our item frame, and our disc fragment from the ancient city. I have now fought every single boss in Minecraft. I'm so drained. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. I tamed the warden and put him to work in my brand new top secret project, as well as some other awesome things. First things first, we're going to build a villager hall. A wandering trader. That's how you get rid of wandering traders. So we're going to be extending this area, making a cool little building. We're also going to grab some more villagers. Would you like to be recruited to my little home? This guy shut his door on me. You're coming with me. We're free. Well, he's not, but I am. You have a job. Start your new job, my friend. Let's go grab another. Hello. Welcome. Good night, my villager friends. I'm sure they love being stood on whilst they sleep. Would you like to work for me? Wonderful. So we've now collected a few villagers. But this space is kind of basic, so what I think I'm going to do is make a little villager hall for them. Okay, we're going to need some wood, so let's chop down one of our massive spruce trees. Okay, let's build it. Here is my villager trading hall. And we've already got an iron golem. Hey, I'm breaking three. Nice. Yay. Nice. And that is my villager hall done. On to the next project, which is a dog house. My dogs have been running around my house. Well, actually sort of just sitting in place. And I feel like they deserve their own house. Where shall I build my dog house? Let's fill in this area. 
Mm, there we go. It's nice. Flat land. Now that this mud mound is complete, I need to actually gather the materials for my doghouse. Hello, turtle. You have a very small pool. Why not choose the whole sea? The sea is yours, my friend. This is so scary. We are on top of a giant pillar. Look at how small things are. What's this? Easy. Just look at how massive that is. That's five stacks of concrete. Next up, we need quite a lot of cobblestone. So I've added blast protection 4 to my leggings, and I put sharpness 5 on my axe. So now we need some sandstone. Two sacks, that's enough. Blue, light blue, orange, yellow, red, and light grey. And at least now we have a colourful pillar. And we now have what we need to build our doghouse. So let's start building it. There's my door. Get away, please don't blow up my new building. Stay back. No, we're one block short. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be Peggy's bed. Last but not least, we'll build our new dog a little house just for when we get one. Well, these are our beds for the dogs. I am going to finish off the walls and I'm going to add some more windows too. <gasps> A gold zombie. Who will win? Gilf or zombie? Gilf wins. Go away. Thank you. At least they listen to me. We can almost bring my dogs in. So thanks, we need to grab some water. And now, these signs are a little bit tricky to read. I'm going to colour them and also make them glow. Just so it's extra easy to tell who's who. And every dog also deserves its own bone. You'll get a bone one day, mystery dog, once I find you. And the dogs also have their own little ramp to run along here and play. And drink water and play with their bones. And I've got plenty of steak to feed them all. So all that's left now is to move my dogs into the doghouse. Oh, doggies. I have a pleasant surprise for you all. Hello, Itsuki. Please follow me. Hello, Peppa. Please follow me. There's Peggy and Ben. And upstairs, as always, reading a book. Tim. Here they are. Here's my gang. Follow me, doggies. Come inside and let's just put them in their own beds. There we go. And my dogs now have a dog house. I've noticed some of my tools and armor are a bit damaged. And also for some reason, I have three lecterns and yet only two librarians. So I need to go back to the village and check to see if there's any composters I've left behind. Please, I just want to fix my villagers. There's no composters. How am I supposed to fix this then? What's that? There's a cat. I wish I had a fish. Let's fish to get some fish. Come on. You know you want to give me something, right, game? Right. Oh, yeah, a fish. Oh. Woo! Another fish. Oh, there it is. No, no, no. Come here. It's okay. Hi. Oh, kitty cat. No, don't run away. I don't know how I can pull in fish from this distance. I'm pretty high up. But I'll just go with it. Here we are. And ooh, leather. Hello. Oh. Oh, cat. No, not a baby zombie. Why are there so many baby zombies? Go away. Are these your children? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Hi. No, okay. Eat my fish, eat my fish. <gasps> he ate the fish! Welcome to the group. I have just the bed for you. Look at the cat dragged in. Oh yeah. I hope it follows me. Watch me lose this cat two minutes after taming it. And now I think it's time to finally upgrade these diamond leggings that I've got. I will also make some TNT. Let's light the candle. Ah! That scared me so much. That is why I keep the flint and steel in the chest. Let's head to the nether. So we'll start with these. Any netherite for a gilf? Netherite, please. Oh, there's some. Please be more than one. Oh, yeah, there's some around it as well. I think that's all I need. Oh, my cat. Hey, would you like to follow me? I'll put you in your bed. Hopefully the dogs and the cats get along. In you go. But it's not quite the sixth dog, but we do have a cat. What should I name it? Let me know in the comments. So we can cook our ancient debris. We will take off our diamond pants. And there we go. Good morning, villagers. I'd like to trade with you, please. Villager restock up to two times per day. But you haven't restocked for like seven years. Why would you do this to me? 
There we go. And we need 20. So we need two more emeralds to get another piece of mending. Hello. Three more emeralds. Nice. Wake up. Mending, please. Thanks. If only I could buy more. What's happening? I thought it was 20 emeralds. Have I been playing myself the whole time? So we only need one more mending book. Two more, actually, because of my elytra. It must be one emerald, one book, which is a really good trade. Thank you. Let's go and finally put mending on everything. I spent so long thinking it was really expensive and it turns out I just can't read. I finally have full mending, which has taken forever. Genuinely, if I realized that it was actually as cheap as it was, I would have done it ages ago. Do you even drop XP? No, I'm sorry. So this is what I need to do to slowly repair all my stuff. I've come to kill you. I still can't do that trade, are you crazy? So my stuff is mending when I kill things, but it's really slow. To fix that, I'm gonna build a massive mob farm. But first of all, I'm gonna need a lot of blocks. So I'm going to need 11 stacks of planks, 14 stacks of slabs, four stacks of trapdoors, and a bunch of other stuff, there we go. Oops, I'm crawling underneath our first tree as we speak. That is a very tall tree. Should have brought my elytra, I could have flown off of it. And now we have 11. We have enough planks. So now that I have what I need to make my mob farm, I've got to build two stacks in the air. Let's try and find a spot to do that. I reckon around there, that area, between my doghouse and the portal and the achievement hall. And it's going to be all the way up in the sky. So this is going to be a lot more powerful than the giant chicken that's right behind me. This is going to let me get enough XP to just repair everything. I'm going to build it so that I can just jump off of it and land in this water here. Whoa, this is scary. So let's build around and then place this with some water so that I can come back up. Uh oh, breathe. Who's throwing a trident at me? Ow! Look at all those zombies. Oh, <gasps> Trident! Pretty crazy fight, wasn't it, Enderman? At least you're not coming after me. We've got a platform in the sky with a big stream of water coming down for me. Ooh, actually, I make some fireworks. It's gonna save me a lot of time getting up there. Let's take flight. That saved a lot of time. One, two, three, four. Well, that's one way of doing it. I am highly dangerous to myself. Hopefully that makes it a bit easier to land on. <laughs> now we need to do a final wall. Oh, wow. It's a good thing that I have the armor to keep me alive. It wouldn't be a guild video if I didn't almost die like eight times. At least it's hard to miss this time. It's up the roof. So this big slab of cobblestone and wood is my completed mob farm. Maybe we should test out if it works. Is it going to work? Oh, hey, my first customer. Nice. Okay, so we've let it build up. Let's see how much XP we can get. So my helmet's fully fixed, my chest plate almost is, and my boots almost are. This is great. Oh yeah, this is so much more efficient. My armor is fully repaired. Let's head home. Oh wow, you have a tiny shovel. Why are you trying to hit me with a spoon? Go away. Fool. So the absolutely massive mob farm is now complete. And I've also managed to repair everything. Using some of the drops that we've got from it, we can make a lot of rockets. Three stacks of rockets and a little bit more. Now that that's done, let's fly over to the ancient city because I have an idea. This is what we're going to do. We are going to take over the ancient city. Forget the warden. The warden now works for me. I am going to trap the warden. I'm going to transform the ancient city a bit and <laughs> cool little thing that I'll show you as well. But first of all, we need to actually get there. And I'm hoping I'm going the right way. How have I got lost? I made it back the first time. Well, I've flown to the completely wrong place. Can you guys tell me where the ancient city is? No, you just don't want to talk to me. That's fair. Okay. Hi, Iron Golem. Let me help out the village. Can you tell me where the ancient city is? No, okay. Well, um, I'll get out of here then. Okay, so now we need to find out where I came up to the surface. Now we'll dig down. Ow. Let's head down. 
I saw a torch this way, actually. These aren't torches I've just placed. Oh, there we go. We need to find and break these blocks here, the skulk sensors. And apparently, you can move on walls, so maybe I'll do some of that. Ooh, okay. I know the warden's not coming after me. I'm wiser than I was. So this part's safe. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I am starting to get a bit scared, actually. So we want to try and get to the middle because we're going to try and trap him. I do need skulk sensors. I might just have to get some in chests. <laughs> Look at how many there are. I'm going to be spending ages doing this. I think as long as we clear the area around the part where we're going to trap him, we should be okay. So the idea is we are going to reform this bridge and trap the warden in this spot right here. Which, as long as I'm careful, I should be okay. It's not like the warden wants to kill me or anything, right? Is this area safe? Redstone? Why is it redstone? Has the warden been busy building? I almost feel bad for destroying it all. I'm impressed, Mr. Warden. It's very, very messy with all this school climbing all over the place. So we're going to dig this out to give a little bit of space so that we can trap the warden. You know, it was surprisingly easy to secure this. I thought this was going to be really, really difficult. I feel like this is probably a good spot for our friend. So now that I've found my area of where I'm going to trap the warden, I need to grab some skulk sensors. But to do that, I'm going to have to look in some chests. Oh, okay. I am slightly scared of you. Oh my. Fly away! Oh, I haven't even built my trap! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a warden after me. Where is he? Oh, where's the loot warden? I know there's some over here. Not what I want, though. Ugh. Good thing I can just fly away. <laughs> oh, two skulk sensors. Perfect. Come on, please. So we have our skulk sensors. We can place a skulk sensor here and one here. And we also need trap doors. A trap door here. This is going to be a dance floor. And the warden is going to dance for me. Let's grab our lamps and put them here. Perfect. And I'll replace these blocks with wool just to make it all link up. And I'm going to build an entrance and an exit on these side platforms here. It just means I don't have to go through all the caves every single time I want to come down to Club Gill. So what is it that I need to do then? The first one I just drop into water. And the second one I'll be pushed up by soul sand. If I build all the way to the surface with this, then I should be okay. Hi! So you've just been born in the middle of a cave. I apologise. He's going to look after the place for me. There's not really much I can give you. I'll show you a cool firework. I'm at the surface. Ah, what a lovely, warm, welcoming party for me. The club isn't open yet. You can't come in. The DJ hasn't been employed yet. Why are you staring at me? It's still in construction. I'm going to have to do some cool strats on these losers. How's that for customer service? Ah, goat. Maybe the goat wants to be a customer. Hello, I'm building an underground club. The DJ is an eight foot tall monster who's actually blind, but he's also very good at listening. So I feel like he's a very good choice for picking the music. Down we go. There we go. It's a lot of blocks. We have got an entrance. Now we need an exit. So we need to fly up there. Is that even possible? Oh! Oh, cool. We can. And whee! I think home's this way. I'm going to head home, and before I dig down, I'm going to bring some stuff with me so I can do some building. Oh, where is my home? There's a jungle. I do not live in a jungle. Is that jungle temple? Well, this is definitely not what I was expecting, but it's all part of the adventure. Watch out for tripwires, Gilf. Aha! How much do you want to bet that that is going to shoot me right in the face if I stand on this? Yep. I best be careful. Okay, here's the proper treasure. And that is why I don't really go to jungle temples. Hello, village. Oh no, I'm so sorry I started another raid. Let's see if we can save this village. And what? Hey, we saved the village. And I also got five totems. Yes, I found my way home. How are my favorite villagers doing? I've been on an adventure, my friends. It's really weird not having my dogs in my house anymore. Hey guys, thank you so much for all your lovely wool. You have no idea how this will actually probably just save my life in the ancient city. Thanks. How you doing, Michael? The mullet tree. So I now have three stacks. I really hope that's enough. We are heading back to the ancient city to trap the warden and make a party. Whoosh. Let's go find our entrance in the snowy hills. There's the ancient city. And now I just need to dig down a couple blocks across. Whoop. Yes, I survived. So we place down our soul sand. And if we start placing our glass as well, we just got to build up. 
put in our jukebox and our chest. Painting one. Painting two. Could use some colour on the dance floor. There's my dance floor. And now we just need to fill this with water, which is going to take absolutely forever. We're going to fill it a tiny bit at a time. Oh, we're finally at the top. Let's test our way down. And whoa, whoosh. Awesome. Let's try our way up. Whoa. Splash. There we go. All that's left to do is find a warden. It's not too difficult to find one, but to trap one is something I've never attempted. Come find me. The one smells. Here he is. Okay, there he is. He's behind me. Over this way, loser. Come in, come in. Oh, God. This is proving difficult. Oh, my. The warden literally just killed me. Let's reassess. Just stay sneaking. Okay. I managed to sneak away. That did not go to plan. We're going to try again. The confidence I had, I have now lost. I think he was getting stuck on this bit. So if I can get him to go over here, I can trap him. I'll grab some redstone and then see if I can move the trap door a bit further away. This better work. Let's go find the warden again. Oh, warden. Let's try again. This is 100% going to work, guys. Where is he? Warden. Okay, okay. Is this going to work? Please? No, no, no. Go back in. Go back in. I'm going to have to brave it. <laughs> go back in, please. Okay, he's stuck on it. Let me find a way down. I've got to glide across and put in the wall. I hope this works. Oh my, there he is. So do I just like run at him? Did I just trap the warden? No way. Guys, I know you can't really see him, but the warden is in there. I've trapped the warden. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Should we play some music? Oh yeah. We did it! Woo! We trapped the warden! I can't believe it! And she did it! Let's go! Welcome to Club Gilf with my latest colleague, the warden, who is now my personal DJ. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more insane videos like this one. And I will see you next time. I flew 30,000 blocks to find the best biome in Minecraft hardcore so that I could build a brand new base. The end product is awesome, so make sure to watch to the end of the video so that you don't miss out. First of all, I'm going to need some blocks for my brand new base. I'm going to include every single tree in the game, and that means a lot of exploring. There's nine different types of tree, and where better to start off than oak? Hey, Michael. Only joking. I'm not actually going to chop him down. We need to find an oak tree. Mm. Next up, I want to find a spruce biome. I think there's one over there. Chow. Is that a sapling I see? And just like that, we've got our spruce wood as well. That's two out of nine. Next up is birch. Oh, birch trees. Uh-oh, there's a fire. Let's go save the planet. Everything is burning. <laughs> no more burning things for you. So now we've got oak, spruce, and birch. But that does lead me to my next type of wood, which is jungle wood. It's jungle time. We want one of these massive trees. And grab some leaves. Uh-oh, there's a fire. Leave my trees alone. So I've actually got way more logs and leaves than I needed, but that's okay. We can use them elsewhere. Jungle complete. Next up, savannah and acacia trees. So here is one of my favorite trees. I do like the orange color to the wood. Acacia, more like... Nah, I can't think of anything. Acacia complete. Let's go take that home. Next up is dark oak, which can be found in woodland biomes. Let's go. We've got to find one first. I think there's one on the way to the ancient city. Once I've collected all of these trees, I can get to work on my new awesome base, which is in the best biome in Minecraft. Do you know what the best biome is? Keep watching to find out. Hey, it's some woodland. There's a little island. These dark oak trees are massive. So let's chop this down. It's like these trees are made of chocolate. Dark oak trees are a little bit special because they need four saplings to grow one tree. And there's a third. Let's chop down this other tree. How many are we on now? Eight. Cool. So we've got enough for two trees. Ooh, we could take these azaleas as well. <gasps> the mobs are coming out. It wasn't even worth it, was it? I can see you. Don't try and fight me. Let's go home and drop these off. And we've got three more types of wood. We've now got six of the nine different types of wood. And I've got all of the overworld trees up to 1.19.
So I need to go and find the mangrove swamp and take a mangrove tree. This world was originally 1.18, which means that there were no mangrove swamps. So what I had to do was actually convert the world over. So all the new stuff, all the 1.19 stuff is pretty far away. So we're going to fly over in this direction and see what we can find. Do you know what isn't the best biome in Minecraft Hardcore? These ones that have no grass. Look at that mountain. Wow. Whoa. I've never seen this before. Also, let's appreciate how massive this hill is. You just fly alongside of it. It goes on really far. Oh, the lonely mangrove. I wonder if there's any frogs nearby. One interesting area. This is the brand new mangrove tree. Oh, <gasps> froggy. Don't even think about it. Wow. Froggy, 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 frog. You're so cool. Oh, <gasps> he jumped. I found my new favorite mob. We can take the saplings, which are actually called mangrove propagule. Here's the wood. I hope the frogs are okay. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm to oh, it's because I got steak, isn't it? No, no, no. Steak's not for me. Steak is for frog. I can't even tell if it's one or two trees or three trees or what because it's so rooted. And now we have our mangrove propagule, our mangrove logs, and the mangrove leaves. And that is it for the overworld trees. Now I'm going to have to go into the nether. It's time to say goodbye. You my best friend. It's okay. I know it's hard to look at me. Oh, he's gone. Whee! We just need to go to the nether and get the warped fungus and the crimson fungus. Mangrove propagules, the logs, and the leaves. Off to the nether for us. Ah! Get off! Why would the game trap me like that? Well, fortunately, the portal takes us right here into the warped forest. If I grab my axe and take some of this lovely warped stem, it won't actually drop a sapling or anything like that. I will need some of this. And instead of saplings, I need to grab these. You still bone meal them like normal, though. So we have our warped fungus. Now we need our crimson fungus, which is over here. So it's the exact same as before. And then instead of these green mushrooms, we need these red ones. If you've made it to this point in the video, please subscribe so you never miss a video and like this one as well and our barrel is complete we've got every single type of tree in the game we've got every single type of log and every single type of leaf i do need to repair my things so up to the mob farm we go we need to fix my elytra all my stuff's fixed and i've got some more xp so let's make a silk touch pickaxe silk touch there we go let's head back to the nether if we silk touch this yes we got it that will do. And now we need some of the crimson one. That's all we need. So let's head back. Oh no. That is a certified gilf moment. Now that we have the nether blocks that we need to create the nether trees, we're all ready to go find the best biome. The only issue is, we need all of the things in this barrel to go all the way to the biome that we're about to find. And I don't really have the inventory space, which has given me an idea. Let's go make a shulker box. We need shulker shells. We have one. I'm off to the stronghold. It's so much easier than when I didn't have an elytra. Whee! Got it. And... Whoosh! So much more peaceful when there are no withers. I need to find an end city so that I can grab some shulker boxes because, like I said, I have a lot of stuff to carry with me to this awesome, awesome biome, which is still a secret. I'm not telling you what it is. Let's go find an end city. And whoosh. An end city. There's no ships, so there's no extra elytras, but we do have shulkers. Leave me alone. So many. Oh, I dodged it. Whoa, got one. Oh, leave me alone. I just want a shulker shell. So we have what we need to make a shulker box. I think it's like this. Yay, let's make it yellow. And now we have the shulker box, which means that all of the saplings, all the wood and all the leaves can go in this tiny thing here. And it only takes up one slot of my inventory. Let's go find the best biome in Minecraft Hardcore. What is the best biome? I'd say the best biome's the one that looks the coolest. So let's go and have a fly around and see what we can find. Let's over this way. Turtles. We have an island. Ooh, a mushroom island. I'm glad it came this way. Well, I think we found our biome. Let's build it on this mushroom island. Whee! And there's another monument over there as well. Hopefully I don't get too close. <gasps> a mushroom. Hello, mushroom. How do you do? My base is this direction, so I should definitely mark it. I've built an arrow so that I know which way to go home. So where are we going to build our brand new base? Let's start by flattening out an area. My base is going to be a donut made of all the different types of wood. And I'm also going to grow one of each tree around it. So it's like bringing all the different types of biomes into this one biome. And there we go. I now have a full inventory of dirt, which I definitely don't need. I only need two stacks. I am going to get to work and build the base of my base. And that's my full ring. So that's going to be the size of my base. Now, because it's a donut, I'm going to build an inner ring. 
as my inner ring. There's my donut. So as you can see, it's an all right size. It's going to be pretty awesome. Now it's time to decide where our entrance will be. Let's have the entrance here. And now it's time for me to start putting in the different types of wood. And this is my little wooden donut. So we've got eight of the nine types of wood and right in the middle, I'm gonna put the warped fungus. Now we just need to fill in the layers. All we need to do here as well. So this little tube part's done. This is the center. And I'm just gonna build up on the walls. So the outside of my donut's complete. It's coming along well. I'm gonna add some leaves on the outside. Whoa, that mushroom's on fire. That's not good. I really hope this doesn't get set on fire by the lightning. It's a cool little donut, isn't it? And then these funny holes, I'm going to put dirt above them. It might sound weird, but you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to tidy up and add some stairs around the edges of the dirt. But you see these dirt patches? They're not green because they don't have a grass block to grow from. So I'm going to have to go back home and I need a silk touch shovel so that I can pick some grass blocks out the ground and place them here. And my house should just be along there. There we go. There's my giant chicken. And this shovel in my hand needs to get silk touch. So I'm going to head upstairs and enchant it. Oh, let's go. Silk touch efficiency four and unbreaking three. Let's grab some grass blocks. Now we can fly back. Whoosh. There's my base. Let's start placing our grass. And the grass is already spreading. Let's go. I can't be bothered waiting. Let's take some more of this grass from over here. Hello. Fight me. Scrubs. So the grass spreads pretty good, which means I can now put down my saplings and grow one of every single tree in the game in the best biome. Let's grab one of every sapling. Birch. Jungle. Acacia. Dark oak. Mangrove. Crimson. Warped fungus. And there we go. I've spent so long on this base. Look at it. It's my little multicolored donut. So let's start growing them. And here's the big reveal. Whoa, that's so cool. Let's finish off this base by growing the warped fungus in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and there it is. And now here I am on the best biome in Minecraft Hardcore with a brand new base. If you liked today's video, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Did you know that there's a way to live forever? <gasps> This hole is the key to unlimited lives in Minecraft Hardcore, and I have to build it before this guy finds me and kills me. But where am I going to build it? There's a few key things I need to look for. I need to find some land that's quite flat. I need to find some land that is near an outpost. And thirdly, we need to find some area that isn't near a cave or near any sand. So let's go find an outpost. Wish. This land isn't flat enough. This area is too sandy. This is way too cavey for anything to work. This is pretty good land, actually. Quite flat. I don't see any caves. Let's have a look at over there. That might just be where we're going to dig our giant hole. So if you think this little island's cool, just wait until I'm finished with it. But I've just realized I don't have anything to even build this thing. What am I going to do? And at the minute, this island is absolutely covered in trees. So I need to dig that away so that I can make space for this epic build. We just need to flatten it as well. And now this area is nice and flat. Let's make our hole. To give you an idea of how crazy this build is going to be, I'm going to need 3,000 concrete. Nice. Oh, uh, Mr. Squid. Let's make the outline. The hole is coming along well, but it's only going to get cooler. Hey, Squid. Goodbye, Squid. And... Cheese! How long is it going to take to dig this hole? I've been doing this for hours. And here is our giant hole. Look how deep that goes. Now I'm going to smelt some glass to cover this top layer. The glass layer is complete. But I do think it's looking a bit bland. So let's go and grab some decorations. First off, black wool. Next up, we're off to the nether. The blocks I'm looking for should be at a bastion. Wee. I definitely don't want to fall down there. <laughs> oh, ah, it was him or me. I have the decorative blocks that I need. Let's head back. And here's the hole. I've added some shroom lights. I've added some flowers and I've redone the outer ring. And this hole will soon have the power to generate totems of undying. I need to work on a system that will collect them for me. I'm going to need to go down there and place some hoppers. Let's make the hops first. But we've got no iron. I've got to go mining. With over a stack of iron, I can get started. Three hoppers. 
Let's try and drop down this hole without dying. Uh, it's a leap of faith. I don't know if I'm going to survive. Oh my god. I should never have done that. Half a heart hero. What's wrong with me? Is our chest. One, two, three. So if anything falls down here, like I just did, the things will drop into these hoppers, which will go into this chest. I did it. Oh no. Oh, I almost fell again. This is looking pretty epic. I can't wait for the finished product. And I can't wait to be able to live forever. And then, if we dig out this area, this should bring us out just in line with the edge of the circle on the surface. There we go. So for this hole, we'll just put some water in the bottom. And this one will have a piece of soul sand that can push me all the way to the surface. So we have the soul sand that we need. Let's head back. So if we drop down here, then we can put in our soul sand. We need a couple of signs as well. And one, two, and as you can see, it's making bubbles. We've just got to go all the way to the surface. And we. So that's our working elevator. But I don't want anybody falling down these holes. So I'm going to build a little building around it. And here's a little hut so that we won't accidentally fall down the hole. And now we can go for the mob's feet. The next step to living forever is finding a villager to live in our hole. So let's go and find a village. Here's one. Does it even have villagers? Hello, child. There's another one over there. There's so much wheat. I'm never going to need food again. Let's turn all this wheat into bread. Got all that. Three stacks. Thank you for all the bread, but this village is too far away from my island, which would make it really, really difficult to get a villager to the hole. I'm going to have to try and find a zombie villager, cure him, and then trap him inside the build. Right then. Where could a zombie villager be? Some skeletons over there. A lush bush. But I can't fight that. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm getting everything apart from a zombie villager. Oh, that's one. Mr. Zombie Villager, please follow me. How am I going to trap this guy? Come on. You got this. We're going over there. That's your new home. <laughs> ah, he's coming after me. The last block. I misplaced the last block. Haha. -ha. I got you. Hello. Zombie Villager in a box. Splash Potion of Weakness. And then Golden Apple. Ah, perfect. So we've got what we need to cure the villager. Let's go put him in the hole. Oh, Mr. Zombie Villager. So I splash him with weakness and then feed him a golden apple. Oh, something's happening. He's shaking. He's becoming a human again. You got this, homie. In the meantime, let's make him a little room so that he can go into a hole. So this is a little pod for our villager. Is he human? Oh, he's cured. How do I get him in there? We got him. He's trapped. Here we are, lamb boating into your room. Perfect. Get back in there. <laughs> Look at him. He's just chilling. We've got our villager, which means that mobs will now be attracted to this giant hole in the ground. So what we need to do is test it. Let's put some water in. But first of all, we need to put in some signs and our water. So mobs will now be pushed down into this giant hole. Oh, pillagers. This is going to be funny. We need to find a pillager that has a flag. Where's your boss? There he is. And now we have the bad totem effect, which means that when we go near a village, it will start a raid. And since our tiny room is now according to the game of village, that should set off the chain of events we want. So let's head back to the hole and see if it works. Okay. Please work. Oh. <gasps> Yes, we have a raid. Where are they coming from? Over there? Are they too scared to cross the ice? Don't be scared. It's only a bit slippy. Just me and the boys. I don't know why they're not attacking me. Here they come. Oh, they've fallen in. Look at them go. They're falling. Goodbye. Let's see if they've dropped anything. Oh, they've dropped a good amount of XP. Oh, hi. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, the ravagers are too big. This guy's all safe because he's sat on this little pet ravager that won't even fit down the hole. What am I going to do? And that is our very first raid complete. Our build works, but it needs improvement. And the first way I'm going to improve it is by adding something to kill the ravagers. Oh, lava. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. We got a lava bucket. Yes. And that should kill our ravagers. Hee <laughs> hee. Goodbye. It works. Why do they keep spawning in that tree? Come at me, losers. And drop. Yes. Thank you. I'm bored of having to come all the way down here just to go and grab my totems. So let's build a system that brings them up to me. And we'll do that by extending the line of hoppers. I need nine more hoppers. The way this system works is that the hoppers are going to form a really long line down here. The items will get shot up by a dropper and all the way to the surface. At the top, there'll be another dropper that puts into a chest for me. There's our nine chests. And then if we do this, boom, we can have nine hoppers. Let's go and put our hoppers in. So firstly, we place our dropper and grab our hoppers. And we'll need a redstone loop to constantly activate this dropper. And there we go. 
time to fill up the rest. Let's test it. So if I throw something in there, does it work? It should come up through this hole here. There it is. Let's go. It works. So let's build something around this so that the mobs don't go into it. Or even worse, steal my things. We don't want the items coming up straight to floor level, so we're going to raise them a little bit. And now we've put down our blackstone bricks and put some slaps on top. So any item that gets thrown into the hole should end up in this chest. Let's test it out. We've got four bricks. Let's see if we can find the item coming up. Oh, <gasps> there it is. And now that our dropping hole and item mover are built, we can do one final test and get loads of totems so that we can live forever. Where's the pillager with the banner? Oh, I just got to kill you guys until he comes. Coming from over here. Goodbye. <laughs> over there. Guys, I'm trying to help since you can't figure out how to walk on ice. And you're just attacking me. You silly, silly pillagers. Get in the hole. Let's see if anything can be brought up. Cool. We've got some banners. Goodbye, pillagers. Good riddance. Especially you, Ravager. <laughs> Look at your massive head. What? They spawned right next to me. Quick, get in the box. And goodbye. Oh, <gasps> there's an evoker. There he is. Go on. Fall down the hole. You know you want to get away from the rain, right, guys? Hey, we've got a couple of totems. Let's go. Whoa. There's an evoker on a ravager. This evoker really wants to die. This hole is magic. It just generates totems. <laughs> there's almost not enough space for them to all fall down. I wonder how many totems we've got so far. Whoa. Five. Nice. Let me just sit back and watch you just fail as pillagers. You're not very clever clever are you? So there's one person left. Hi. Raid complete. Let's go. That was so easy. It really is the key to living forever. How many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Which is better, a giant shulker box or a tiny one? How am I going to build something so massive? And how am I supposed to fit inside of something that's smaller than a block? Watch to the end to find out. I'm going to start off by building my tiny little baby shulker box. What blocks are there that are smaller than one block? The slabs, buttons, pressure plates. There's lots of things that I can place on the ground that are smaller than one block. But what should I pick for a yellow shulker box? We're gonna go for these cut sandstone slabs. That's not quite a shulker box. Let's try a pressure plate. It's a bit flat. We're gonna need to go smaller. But how am I gonna do that? Now, room has it there's something even smaller than normal blocks. And that is tiny blocks. But to get them, I'm gonna need a chisel. But how do I make this chisel, Gilf? Well, I have the Bits and Chisels mod, which lets me build tiny things, like my brain. To make a chisel, we need one iron and one stick as well. A simple iron chisel. Hello, Michael. Normally, there's a black outline around the whole block, but if I hold my chisel, I can take actual areas out of it. So if I go one, two, three, four, I've cut a hole in Michael. And then once you make your tiny holes, you get given bits. Look how small this guy is. So let's go and chisel a shulker block. Huh? Why is it not working? I want to make a tiny shulker box. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get blocks at the right colours and essentially place down every single pixel. And an iron chisel isn't good enough. So I'm going to want a smart chisel. So now I can actually do even smaller holes. Look at that mini hole in my wall. I'm going to use my big brain to figure out what kind of colour blocks I need. Hmm. Let's go for some yellow blocks. And we've got a pretty good yellow gradient going on. These are the blocks I'm going to use. And boom. 4,000? Let's get to building it. But where? In the achievement hall. Let's build it right here. Here's my tiny little base, but I have no idea what shulker box that small would look like. So we can see that it's darker at the bottom, and then it has like a light patch in the middle. If we take out every other little one, and this one... And the tiny shulker box is complete. My only problem is I can't actually reach the back. So if the blocks are small, I'm going to have to be small. But how am I going to do that? Well, here's a little secret. Behind the sponge is a magic button, which should shrink me down to microscopic size. I hope this works. Whoa, I'm tiny. Look how massive everything is to the shulker box. I'm inside of it. Let's finish it off then. I can't believe I have to keep taking the elytra up there unless I can make a staircase. <laughs> There we go. Just look at how massive everything is. I feel so small. <gasps> There's a giant trader outside. Let's go say hi. Please don't step on me. Ah ha ha. I'm like a fly. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's go. I should probably use this just for safety. Uh oh. <gasps> what was I saying? Okay, let's try and land in the shulker box. <laughs> actually just died. I don't want to be tiny girl anymore. This is kind of boring though without an inside. Let's add some windows. So the windows are cool. But what about things to actually put on the inside? We can put down our pillow and our bed. Let's make a chair. 
put down a torch. And here is our tiny shulker box. I just wish I wasn't tiny anymore. Well, looky me. Because, just like how there's a button over there, there's a button over here that should return me to normal size. Whoa! Oh, it feels so good to be big again. I feel so fast. But look at how tiny this shulker box is. I'm definitely not fitting in this anymore, though. And now that our tiny shulker box is done, it's time for the giant one. But where am I going to build it? Let's climb on top of my house and see if we can find a good area. So there's probably not enough space over here. I don't think there's enough space over there either. Let's build it right here. Instead of the tiny one that I can live in, this one is going to be giant. So let's start off by flattening the area. And there we go, nice and flat. And where before one tiny block represented one pixel, now one pixel is gonna be a normal Minecraft block. That means I'm gonna need a lot of blocks. Let's grab some sand. Some sand, some gravel, some dye. So we have our blocks, let's get to it. Oh no, I think I've severely underestimated the amount of blocks I'm gonna need. Back to mining. No way. I definitely need to be more careful. So that's the first layer. It's quite massive. Let's keep building up the layers then. Look how nice and spacious this one is compared to the other one. Now, we just need to build the part up here. Ho ho ho, this is the yellowing. That's my giant shulker box, almost complete. Well, what do you think? Uh oh, no, no. Please, please, please. I was so close. But once again, it's kind of empty on the inside. I have a genius idea. So normal shulker boxes can hold 27 items. Well, since this one's bigger, why don't we do it so this one can hold thousands of items? And I've also made this nice path that connects my shulker box to the rest of my buildings. Our sorting machine is gonna sort all of our chests out for me, but it's gonna be very, very expensive to make. We're gonna want a lot of chests. Wash, 14. This is where I'm gonna put the chests. I'm also going to need repeaters and comparators. I guess you see where this is expensive. So both repeaters and comparators need a lot of stone. Let's start smelting. Whee! Three creepers? Help! We're safe for now. See what we can mine. Where's the redstone? Aha! Oh, <gasps> diamonds! And what beautiful weather to come to the surface to. We're not far from home either. So we should have what we need to start building the sorter. And then we need a bunch of repeaters. That's enough to do the chest that we've got right now. And we're missing some key ingredients. We also need redstone comparators and some hoppers. But to make a comparator, we need quartz. And I have one. I guess we're gonna have to go back to the nether. Off we go. Where's quartz gonna be? I definitely feel very safe right now. Leave me alone, please. Oh no, I'm being chased. It's alright, you won't come on here. We've got 62. That's enough. Whee! Let's go home. Comparator time. I believe it's this. So then we chuck these on here. We're gonna need a lot of chests for all of the hoppers. I think 35 is probably a good amount. Let's see how many hoppers we can make. 16? This is very expensive in terms of iron. And we're out of iron. It took me about an hour of mining to get all that iron. And that has made probably about a quarter of what I'm going to need. And since I can't become an employee in Gamer's Iron Factory, I'm going to have to make an iron farm. And since we've built our giant shulk box over here, let's build our iron farm over here. And we'll also need some beds. Here's one section done. We do need some stairs. Let's go! We had the perfect amount of walls. And then we just need to chuck some water in here. That's more like it. Now we need to find some villagers and a zombie to actually put inside the farm. The sun's going out, so we should be able to find one soon. Oh, Mr. Zombie. Come to me, please. You're my new employee. Ow. <laughs> Come on. No! Please don't kill me. Get in there, please. Yes! There we go. And now that our zombie's captured, we're gonna need to name tag him so that he doesn't despawn. Hello, Zil. It's like Gilf, but zombie. Now we need some villagers. Ha, see what they've got. Any more job blocks? Thank you. What are these guys doing? It's so random. Oh, we got two. Ha ha ha. It's working. Let's take these guys home. Okay, let's keep these two in here. You, my friend, come with me. And just go in there for me, please. Thank you. That took absolutely forever. Now I have to do the others. And now we have three villagers. Now we need to build a little area that's going to catch iron golems as they spawn. 
So I don't actually have enough hoppers to finish my iron farm, which means I'm going to have to take some of these. And then on top of here, I need to put some lava. That will cover it. And here is my iron farm. Ha <laughs> ha Burn. I've been waiting for about an hour. Let's see what we've got. Whoa! That's so much more than I was expecting. You've served me well, Iron Farm. Whoa, we're definitely not short on hoppers now. Now that we have 42. And there should be another line of hoppers on top. I also need to fill these. And this is hopper filler. And in each one of these, we put four filler. So over here, I put in the items that I want to be sorted, and they go along the line of hoppers, and then they get put in the chests. So our first chest will be dirt. So we put a stack of dirt in there, and it'll sort it for us. The next is cobblestone. Let's put in one item that will get sorted and one that won't. <gasps> it's counting down, and I've put in some leads. See what happens. It's filling up. I think it might be working. So we haven't actually decided what each chest is going to be yet, so I think, yeah, the leads are stuck in there. Let's go and have a look what we have a lot of. Seeds. Let's get rid of them. I'm going to decide what to put in each one of these chests. Carrots. I've picked a few items that I have a lot of, and these are going to be the ones that get sorted. So every time I get one of these items, we come up here to our sorting chest. And as you can see, the bread is currently being sorted. And we put the sand in there as well. And if we go down to our sand chest, it's getting filled back up. And then the thing that doesn't belong in any of those chests will be here. And on the floor above, I'm going to put some more chests that are sort of grouped items. There we go. Nice. So I've decided a few of the groups of what we're going to have. We're going to have building blocks, farming blocks, my tools, my valuables, my food, and other random stuff. Let's do one final test to make sure that this thing works. Ooh. It's going up. Let's go. And our giant shulker box is complete. We've now got a tiny shulker box, an iron farm, and our giant shulker box. Diamonds, we've got them. Emeralds, we've got them too. Netherite, yup. And this factory has everything that I'll ever need. By the end of this video, I'll be the richest person in Minecraft. To do this, I'll be going to places that I've never been, and doing things that I thought were impossible. How did I do it? Watch to the end to find out. Let's check my giant shulker box to see if I've got any resources. Nope. So if I want to be rich, I'm going to have to do something big. The plan is simple. So you may have seen that lots of people have been making factories in Minecraft. But they only really tend to make one thing. So my plan is to make an everything factory. And I need to start off by picking what resources I actually want to get. Hmm, let's see. We've got iron, we've got diamonds, emeralds, which I can use to trade, and we've got gold and lapis. And I'm sure that there's one thing that is more valuable than all of them. Yep, I'm gonna get some netherite too. But a factory that has farms for all of these items must be massive. So where on earth am I going to build it? Well, I don't think it's gonna fit over there. What about over there? Nah, it's kind of far. So what if I make an island for this giant factory? Where would that go? I think building an island above this water is a good idea. Is it even possible to build something so massive? Will I be able to complete it before I run out of resources and be broke forever? What if the farms don't even work or I die? This is a very scary task. Let's begin. First things first, I'm going to need some things to actually build my island. Now, where can I find dirt? Hmm. Almost like it's all around me. I now have a full inventory of dirt. Is that enough to build this island? Let's find out. Oh yeah. Is this high enough? Probably. There we go. And I'll do that on the other sides. Okay, so we've got a big plus side. Nice. Now then, let's fill in this circle. So there's the base of our island. We just need to fill it in. This is as far as 20 stacks of dirt gets you. Let's do some more digging. Oh, there's a creeper in there. And bye. And this is the completed island. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. It's just a floating piece of dirt, but it provides a platform for our factory. And if you think this is cool, then keep watching. At some point in this video, you will find a secret word. Make sure to watch the whole video to find it and comment what it is down below. It's time to build the factory. This is the base of my factory. Time for some bricks. Where's the clay? There's some. Okay, we've got loads and loads of bricks. Time to turn them into brick blocks. 
We've made two stacks of bricks. This is gonna take forever. And now, our factory is halfway complete. Let's ignore the fact that it's not central. Oh man, that kind of upsets me actually. There's so much stuff to do in such little time. I need over 6,000 blocks to complete this factory. All whilst just trying to survive. And now that we have a good portion of the factory built, let's build our first farm. And the first thing that needs to be moved is the iron farm. I'm gonna have to break apart my iron farm piece by piece and rebuild it in there. I definitely do not want to fall down there. You and your friends are free to go. Okay, it's coming apart. Ah! Help! <laughs> no! Rest in peace, Sylph. Well, I may as well finish the rest of you off. Bye. And the iron farm is now gone. Let's move it into the factory. So our iron farm has been moved and there is a zombie which needs naming. So in honor of Zilf, this is going to be Zilf 2. And perfect. We should now have our iron farm back. And it looks like maybe this golem doesn't get the idea. We might have to finish building the factory before all these farms work, if they ever do. Get down from there. Oh, he's coming after me. Take that. Oh, he is gonna try and fight me. <gasps> that was close. Now we need to make our emerald and our lapis farm. Now the emeralds are very useful because we can trade them for other stuff. The lapis is useful and we can use it for enchanter. So these farms are going to involve villagers and I wonder what my villagers have at the moment. You are pretty rubbish, you're pretty rubbish, and you're pretty rubbish. I want something for emeralds, see like this, like wheat for an emerald. There is an iron ingot for emerald trade. So if I use my iron farm to get iron, then I can use that iron to get emeralds. And then I can use those emeralds to get everything. Fellow. We just need to figure out how to get the iron for emerald trade. Let's get some grindstones. So I think do it like this. Yeah. So we've got two grindstones, which means that we should be able to get two iron for emerald trades. Next up, we need to find out how to get the lapis for emerald trade. That is how you get a lapis farm, I suppose. Do I have any brewing stands? I've got two. Thank you. We need to go and grab some villagers from over there and bring them into the factory. Now, as you can see, because you have such brilliant vision, there's no path up there, you have to fly. So I'm going to make something which will let me bring the villagers on. A boat elevator? Would that work? First of all, let's get some villagers. I think they're over here. Yep, there's a village. Aha, there's one. Villager. Somebody told me that you would like to come and work in my factory. Don't honk at me. Just get in the boat. Yes. Off we go. The amount of villagers that I've relocated. I wouldn't say stolen, but I've definitely relocated a few. If we can get him through here, what are we going to do with you? We'll very slowly make it through this tunnel and drive the boat all the way to my base. Okay, we've got him to the water. Let's grab some soul sand if we've still got some. Uh, do we? Soul sand? No. Let me go grab some, please. Anyone? 23, that'll be enough. Back we go. There we go. There he is. He's gonna end up there somehow. This one and this one. We have a water elevator. Let's test this out. Ooh, well, the village is going up. Where did he go? Oh, we're back down here. Please don't fall off this time. No, you idiot. Oh, yes, we did it. Hooray. Yeah, just run in there. Yes. Where do you want to work, man? Come over here. And you slowly move forwards. Okay, first villager contained and he's covered in dirt. It's gonna be one of the two emerald traders. Let's grab some more. Will you please work as a normal iron farm? <gasps> okay, okay. No, it's fine, it's fine. <gasps> okay, it's not fine. I gotta get up, I gotta get up. <laughs> Boing. Why did I do that? Good thing I have a box of totems. Okay, time for another. Yes! Get inside. <laughs> you fall. He works for me now. He's gone to sleep. Yes, he's going to bed. Now I know it's made of dirt. Just make sure to watch to the end to see what it looks like. Okay, now for the last one. Okay, time for the final villager. Yes, run inside, get trapped. Run to your new bed. Am I gonna have to trap you? Yep, I guess so. Go in there, there you go. So we now have our three villagers. Let's give them some trades. Nope, not what we wanted. So it turns out, after I don't even know how long refreshing these trades, they need to be apprentices, not novices. So basically we need to secure the trades and upgrade the villagers. Uh, I think we just have to wait a day for him to decide to be cool. Oh no, there it is, we've got it. Four iron for an emerald. Let's get loads of emeralds. Yes. 
Okay, so now we have one villager that has the iron for emerald trade, and we have another villager that has the iron for emerald trade. Perfect. Next up is you, which apparently you give lapis. What do you give me? Lapis trade! Yes! And gold for an emerald! And there we go! We've got two iron traders and one lapis trader. We can now trade our iron for emeralds and our emeralds for lapis, all in this factory. Up next is my gold farm, but there's a massive issue! You need to be in the nether! How am I supposed to incorporate the nether into this factory? Keep watching to find out! We are going to build a nether area under the island, which will take us straight to our gold farm. As you can see, there's quite a lot of water there, which means that if we're going to build this nether area, we're going to have to drain the water. Before we drain the ocean, let's grab some things from the nether. I would love a ton of netherrag, please, because I'm going to make a big circle underneath the island in the water that's going to drop down and have my nether portal. Well, <laughs> that's a big hole. What do you think, Enderman? They're coming over to tell me how cool they think my mining is. Get off. Ah! i got to get out of here. Bye. What's wrong with me? Okay, well, I've got my netherrack. Let's start draining the ocean. Let's start this outline. Okay, so we've made a bit of a ring, but there's still water inside, so I'm gonna have to drain it now. Before we drain the water, we need to actually build down to the seabed. You can't see very well, but this now goes all the way down to the ocean floor. So this is closed off on the inside of the circle, which means you're trapped. Losers. Time to drain. How many sponges do you think it would take to drain this whole thing? My guess is it would take a lot. Okay doesn't even drain anything. It means you're gonna have to replace all of the water with blocks and then break all the blocks. Oh man. What do I have a lot of that I can use to replace the water? Yeah, we've got a lot of planks. And now the water's gone. But there's still all of this sand and stuff. So I guess I'll get rid of that as well. Okay, I've got rid of those blocks and I've filled in the floor. And now I just need to do the walls. We'll be fine. Sounds like there's some zombies nearby though. I can hear loads. Where are those noises coming from? Oh. Oh no. Go away. Go. Ah! Oh. Well, I guess that worked. It wasn't really the plan, but at least I have my armor on. That deals with the mysterious sounds. Whee! Well, the iron golems are spawning. Just not in the right place at all. And the start of our nether area is complete. It looks a bit basic at the minute, but keep watching to see what awesome details I add to it. Next up, I need to find some obsidian for a portal. Because it wouldn't be a nether area if there wasn't a portal. So I don't think I have any obsidian. So we're going to have to get some. Off to grab obsidian. Lovely. Let's start digging away. So this portal is going to be big. So I'm going to need more obsidian than usual to make it. But it's going to be really cool. <gasps> Please me more than one. Oh, it's just one. So we've got 29 pieces of obsidian and a lovely diamond. Let's head back to the nether area and build our portal. Okay, so if this is the center and... Okay, here is our nether portal. We just need something to light it. Okay, time to light the portal. And... Whoosh! Whoa! So it is quite a big portal, but where is it going to take us? We are in a warped forest. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh, get out! Oh my! That was completely uncalled for, lava. And now we need to go right up there. And to get through the bedrock, I need an Ender Pearl. So I'm gonna have to fly all the way up there, throw an Ender Pearl at the bedrock, and just kind of hope that I may get through without dying. Oh, there we go. There's one there, but he's very shy. Oh no! Hey! Oh, there's two. Crash. Come at me, loser. Ah! Go away. Yes. So now that I have my ender pearl, I am going to fly to the nether roof. Whee! Oh! Oh, I actually did it perfectly. Okay, moment of truth. So you look in the corner and you throw the ender pearl. You ready? Three, two, one. Cool. Is this going to work? I hope so. Three, two, one! Yay! <gasps> yes! Oh. How am I supposed to get back? I've trapped myself on the <gasps> nether roof. Only joking. Tricked you. I brought stuff to make another portal. Did I even bring enough? Has my own prank backfired? You ready? Okay. Ooh. Oh, yes! Yes! You were not supposed to come with me. If I break this portal, then we should have linked our portals to the roof. 
So now the portals should be connected, which means it's time to finally make the gold farm. But now I just need to grab the stuff for it. And the first thing that we're gonna need is loads and loads of magma blocks. We're gonna need 14 stacks. What's 14 mm. times 64? So let's stop complaining and just get some. And we also need a lot more netherrack, so let's grab some of that. Okay, what else do we need? Let's get three stacks of glass. Let's check our iron farm. Judging by the fact that the iron golems are still wandering around, probably not much generated. A little bit. Next up, we need some carpets. So, hello, sheep. Who wants to be sheared? Nice. And I also need a turtle egg. And if I want the turtle egg, I'm going to have to find a friend for this guy. Huh? Now, where could a friend be? Apparently, turtles like seagrass. Not a clue how much I'll need. I need at least two. Now we just need to find a friend for our turtle. Oh, look. There's one over there. Follow me, turtle. Whee! Just me and my turtle friend. Oh, there's Hello. another. Hey, guys. What should I name them? You are Jim. And you... I will name you Turtle. Almost there. There's our other friend. That's Kevin. It's egg time. You have seagrass. And you have seagrass. And you you don't make an egg, but you can have some as well. Oh, oh they're digging. Oh, <gasps> we've got an egg. Pleasure doing business with you. And now we have everything that we need to build our gold farm. Let's get building. I definitely don't want to fall down. And as you can see, they're already spawning in. So these are the pigmen, and they drop gold nuggets, which is great because that's how you make gold. And I have a way <laughs> to make them fall. And that is this. I'll put the egg there. And they should start running towards it. Oh yeah. So they walk along here, and they fall down into those hoppers, and they give me gold. You can see that they're still falling, and they're making me nuggets. <laughs> and that is my gold farm complete. And now that our gold farm is complete, there are two left before this factory is done. Next up is my diamond farm. Gilf, there's no such thing as a diamond farm. What are you on about? Well, keep watching because I'm about to do the impossible. First up, I'm going to need loads and loads of slime. Let's look for a swamp. Hello, slime. Look at them all. Hey, guys. And we've made a whole two slime blocks. We're getting there. I feel kind of bad because they have such little health. I can hit them with my totem and they die. Sorry, guys. And now that we've got our slime, we can head back to our base. Next up, we need ancient debris. What kind of farm uses ancient debris? Yes. Ancient debris complete. Next up on the list of random things that we're going to need are coral fans. And splash. These will do. And now, all I need to do is head underground and do some crafting. Our diamond farm is going to be directly under our factory, just like the nether portal. Oh, I landed in a dungeon. I actually came straight down and landed in a dungeon. This is just my luck, isn't it? And next up, I just need to dig around myself, just like this. Okay, last bit. Ah, close. Time to build. One, two, three. Shroom light observer. So, we've got two little arms. Now, how on earth does this make a diamond farm? You will see. Slimes, wall, slab, slab. Our legs have got longer. I know it looks completely random, but it's a slime machine. All we need to do now is set up the on switch and load up some minecarts. Okay, I think it might be like this. There we go. And now for the final block. Oh, oh, it's going off, it's going off. Oh, it works. The diamond farm works. Let's go. So basically this machine duplicates TNT, fires it forwards and blows holes in the wall. See, we've got diamonds. Oh yeah. Oh, there's more. That's a big vein. And literally in the space of a couple of minutes, we've got eight diamonds. This is awesome. I wonder if this machine will work somewhere else. Somewhere where there's lots of fire. Let's test this out in the nether. Okay, and now it's time to test our netherite farm. I didn't even know this was possible. If you think this is crazy like I do, then please consider subscribing because I'm gonna carry on doing crazy things all throughout the summer. <gasps> yes, our netherite farm works as well. Oh, yes, we got two in one go. Nice. 
And that goes to show that my netherite farm works as well. And now we have iron, emerald, lapis, gold, diamond, and netherite farms all in and around this factory. That is crazy. So let's celebrate by finishing off this awesome factory. And into our chimney goes a campfire. And this is the factory in all of its glory. I'm really impressed with how it's come along. Let's look inside. So we've got my workers, the villagers over here that do emerald and lapis trades. We've got our zombie up there and some more villagers for our iron farm. And now, to make the iron farm work, we need to get rid of these guys. And wish me the best. Yes. Okay, there's one. Bash. Okay, one more to go. Oh, this guy's tough. There we go. And now hopefully the iron farm should be reset. And it's already generated a good amount of iron for me. And if I ever want to just wait and watch them burn, I can just go inside my really advanced AFK chamber. And now that the factory is complete, let's do the nether area. Yes. And how is this for a finished nether area? I tried to make it look like a big circular portal. And I think I've done a pretty good job. And now look at me, I've got a brand new factory in my Minecraft hardcore world. I have an epic iron farm. I've got ways to get loads of emeralds. I can then use those emeralds to get lapis. And then below my island in the nether area, I've got a portal which takes me all the way to my gold farm. And below my island, I've even got my own diamond farm. And even better, I've got my own netherite farm. And that is my everything factory. I want to collect not one, but 5,000 sniffers. And I've got until my PC explodes to do it. In this video, I explored the new 1.20 update, bust some crazy myths, and build something awesome. Now, how do I get a sniffer? I need a sniffer egg, which can be found somewhere in the sea. How far away is it going to be? The plan is to find a warm ocean ruin, which should have my sniffer egg. Am I going to find it soon? Probably not. Aha! Is there any of this suspicious sand anywhere? Ooh! So I think this stuff right here is suspicious sand. Let's dig some. What? Why did it shatter like glass? I need to make myself a brush that lets me dig the suspicious sand. Is it like this? Ooh. Let's head back to those ruins. So where's the suspicious sand? Ooh, I think this is some. Let's use this brush and see what we get. Ooh. A wooden hoe. Are you joking? So it looks like it's going to be kind of tricky to get an egg. What have we got this time? Ooh. Shelter pottery shed. I have no idea what that is. This is going to take forever. How am I going to get 5,000 of these eggs? Is that another piece of coal? Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, yes. I have a sniffer egg. That took much longer than I want to admit. I've got an egg. Oh, yeah. Let's put it in my factory. And... Ooh. I've got a sniffer. Well, not yet, but I will soon. And since it took me so long just to get that one egg, how am I supposed to get 5,000? Is it even going to be possible to get 5,000 sniffers when it's this difficult just to get one? And what if the sniffer doesn't even hatch? And now I need to find sniffer number two. And how about a challenge? I've got 15 minutes to find another sniffer egg. Otherwise, I'm going to have to blow up my house. Okay, go, go, go. I think the ocean ruins are over here somewhere. 15 minutes. That is not long at all. Compared to how long it took me to find the egg last time. My house is going to get blown up. Ooh, could that be some? Ow. Stop. Bye. Oh, no, I forgot to breathe. I beat the drowned, but I forgot to breathe. And I'm running out of time. No, I don't want a wooden hoe. Thank you. We've only got a few minutes left. Am I actually going to have to destroy my house? Leave a like on this video right now if you want me to fail and have my house blown up. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Look at how many there are. Where is the suspicious sand? There's some. Ooh, I don't need wheat, but thank you. Sniffer egg? Sniffer egg? Ooh, ooh, I think I might have just got a sniffer egg. Oh, I think it was a shard. We did not get an egg. This is the last area that I get to check. Another wooden hoe. What a joke. This is getting dangerously close to running out of time. Why did I agree to this? Please. Oh, no. And that is my time up. Oh. Walk of shame back home, then. And here we are. My beautiful home. Covered in TNT because I couldn't find a sniffer egg. Here we go, then. Are you ready? Oh, no. There it goes. My house! All that's left in the ruins 
is Tiny Gill. Well, in times where you've got a destroyed home, you've got to make another. That's more like it. What do you think? It's not too bad, is it? Let's check on our sniffer egg. Oh, it's not there anymore. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Look at it. You're a lot bigger than I was expecting. I'm going to name you Vinny. Well, there's one sniffer. Let's find another one. Please don't be cold. I can't see it. <gasps> We've got a second egg. Let's go. Okay, so we have our second sniffer egg. But there's a dilemma. If I'm going to get 5,000 sniffers, do you realize how long it's going to take me to find and hatch all of these eggs? And I don't really have the time for that. So how can I do this more quickly? First of all, we need to find somewhere that can fit 5,000 sniffers. Let's go on an adventure. Ooh, I like the look of that. Brand new cherry biome. What's this? Huh, petals. And this actually looks like quite a nice flat area to have all 5,000 sniffers. Hey, sheep. Hey, what? Hey, pink sheep, come back. <laughs> if this is going to be our area, let's start off by placing our first two eggs. So we could place our two sniffer eggs right now, but I read somewhere that they actually hatch faster if you put them on moss. Tiny gill can dig moss. So we put one there and one there. And now it's just the waiting game. Maybe I should just go to sleep. Oh, <gasps> Sniffers! Baby Sniffers! Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Don't go wandering off too far, though. No! Go away. Almost killed my baby Sniffer. Right, you stay there, little one. Now I've got to go catch your friend. So we've now got Sniffer 1 and Sniffer 2. Whilst we wait for our Sniffers to grow, let's expand this little area. Oh, no. We've got a problem. There's a creeper inside my little sniffler area. What did my sniffler ever do to you? Yeah. Come on up. Oh my god, what is that? This one of my sniffers just died. Oh, phew. He's in here. Come on, slow coach. Thank you. So now I have two sniffers and we're just going to wait for them to grow into big sniffers. No, they've escaped. Where's your friend? Oh man. Oh, oh. Is that him? Don't do that again. I can't believe you guys. As soon as I turn my back, you escape. You got the ugly sniffer enclosure now. Are you guys gonna grow? How long does a sniffer take to grow? 40 huh? minutes? And what's 40 times 5,000? It's gonna take me five months for all these sniffers to grow. Fortunately, I can grow more than one at a time though. Let's chop down these trees. Surely by now, one of my sniffers has grown. Well, there's a baby there. Wow, I forgot how massive the sniffers were. It's just grown in front of my eyes. What? Oh, and you're sniffing. Go on, please, please, please. Hooray! Woo! So I will be taking this torch flower seed. Let's make sniffer number three. One for you and one for you. Now make a little baby sniffer, please. Where's the baby? Oh, there's the baby. <laughs> there you go. Let's find somewhere to sleep. Which house is going to be very kindly given to me? I like this house. There we go. Hi. And that is sniffer number three. This is going to take me absolutely forever and after a day of doing nothing it looks like we've got three grown sniffers now we'll go you and you sorry for leaving you out let's put the egg there nice and it looks like the next egg has hatched i know you guys are probably eager to make sniffer number five but i want to see how many torch flower seeds it takes to make the little guy grow quick eat them eat them grow well it takes more than four i need three more seeds please this is where it's gonna start getting crazy. So we'll have one here and one here. Oh, that's one. Oh, we got two. And so we can place two eggs. And whilst we grow our sniffer army, let's bust some myths. First myth is that there's a way to get suspicious sand without destroying it. I found a piece of suspicious sand. Now, how are we gonna capture it? Especially without drowning. My first idea is using a torch. So let me break a block down. And then if I place a torch underneath, then I should be able to get it, right? Right? Let's try this. Three, two, one. Well, it shattered, just like my dreams. So if a torch doesn't work, what about a lever? Let's find out. Three, two, one. It just disappeared. Pistons do not work. I'm starting to think maybe it's not possible to get suspicious sand. Let's give it one more go. Is there a way to get the suspicious sand block? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, it's gonna break. Please, hit the torch and break. <gasps> it's true. I have in my hand a block 
of suspicious sand. I'm now stuck in the web. Help. Let's check on the sniffers. Ooh, some more sniffers. Hey, guys. Oh, he's digging. Come on. Come on. Yes. Perfect. It's time to make the next generation of sniffers. Nice. It's only going to build up from here. And it's taking a while to get torch flower seeds. So I'm going to make myself a torch flower farm. The way this works is it's a big box full of sniffers. And there's an alley inside that will pick up the torch flowers for me and collect them. And I know just a group of sniffers to use. There we go. Giant cherry floor. But underneath, a lot of sniffers. And once the torch flower seed farm is complete, it will make it a lot easier to make future generations of sniffers. And now it's time to find an alley. Okay, you! Do you have alleys? Please have alleys. Where are they? Here's a cage. Hey, guys. Ah! This guy does not want you to be free. It's okay, guys. You're safe with me. Ooh. Smithing template. Be free. Please don't fly away. He's taking the seed. Yes! We've got an alley. Come with me, little man. Just come here. Oh, he's flown straight in. It's working. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we have a working torch flower seed farm and a brand new area to grow our sniffers. And here comes the next generation. Once these eggs are hatched, I've made a little bridge to walk them across and drop them into the seed farm. Because the more sniffers we have in the seed farm, the more seeds they can dig up. They're hatching, they're hatching. Look at them. Oh, no. They cannot be contained. Now I have to collect all the runaway sniffers. I'd say there's probably enough of them in here now. And from that group, we got 16 sniffer eggs. And to think it was so difficult just to get one. That's a lot of eggs. And look at all these sniffers. So our total sniffers now is probably about 60 or 70. Whoa, that's a lot of seeds. Let's go make some more sniffers. And whilst we wait for all of those eggs to grow, let's bust another myth. Somebody told me sniffers are immune to explosions. I think it's time we test that out. Let's see if the rumors are true. Is this guy immune to explosives? I don't know whether to feel bad doing this because it doesn't matter if you're immune. I'm really sorry. Is this myth true? Let's find out. Oh. Sniffers are not immune to explosives. In fact, it turns out sniffers have only seven hearts, which is less than me. At least I'll have 4,999 left. And we've also just reached the 100 sniffer mark. So many more to go. And why not give the sniffers that we've already got a place to relax? And this is our empty pond. It's kind of boring. So we need to fill it with water and add some decorations. And here's my cool little pond. So we've got a big pool with loads of decorations. I'm sure the sniffers will like the smell of this. Let's get some more eggs. Do, do, do. And I never thought that I'd be holding a wow. stack of eggs in my hand right now. Just look at how many eggs I've got. We really are raising an army. Okay, we've been waiting a while. Let's see if we've got our baby sniffers. I don't even think they're babies anymore. I waited so long that they're just adults. I think we're about 190 sniffers now. We're like 4% mm, of the way. But you know, we'll keep going. And these sniffers really are just all over the place. So I think we should make a wall to contain them. I'll take some of this, please. So I was trying to go for like a sort of cherry themed wall and I thought that endstone went quite well with cherry planks and it's got to cover a very large area and it's taking absolutely forever, but it would definitely be worth it. The frame rate is struggling a little bit now, but we are at 650 snippers. It is growing quickly and time to fill in the final part of this wall. There we go. The wall is complete. Whee! Looks pretty nice. And now that we have a really cool wall to contain all of these sniffers, let's bust the third and final myth. And the third myth is that you can ride a camel upside down. So the first thing we need to do is find a desert. Let's go exploring. Oh, camel. Hmm. Looks like it's a little bit harder to find a camel than I expected because they only spawn in desert villages, which I didn't know. I'm forgetting one very important item. Let's see if I've got some. No, no, no. Oh, yes. And we type in dinner bone, take the name tag, and let's hope that that turns our camel upside down. Let's test out this third myth. Ooh, hello, camel. Nothing good. A saddle, though. Maybe we can put the saddle on the camel. Ooh. Okay, so I'm riding the camel normally. Whoa, we can, like, charge forwards. 
Let's see if this third myth is true or false. And... Oh, that looks really funny. Should we try and ride it? Yeah, I think we should. Okay, here we go. Um... Yeah, you can ride camels upside down. Guess we should also test if we can do this jump. And it looks even weirder than before. Well, Mr. Camel, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Just as I'd finished recording for the day, look who decided to hatch. Which brings our sniffer total to 950 sniffers. It doesn't look like much right now, but if I turn up my settings, you can see there's a lot more, but the, uh, the frame rate's a bit bad. So they'll only load in when I get close to them. And I've been doing this for absolutely ages, and we're still not at 5,000 snippers. And the reason for that is because the platform where we hatch our eggs just isn't big enough. So let's try and make it a bit bigger, shall we? One, two, three. This is my massive hatching area. And now, when I fill this big green circle, I'll get almost a thousand sniffers each time. Oh, sniffers! <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a lot of eggs. And if I fly over, you can see I've only filled half of the hatching area. Oh, hello. No, you can't have my sniffers. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. No, don't shoot them. Goodbye. <laughs> The eggs are starting to crack. And somewhere in this group is sniffer number 1000. Hello, sniffer number 1000, wherever you are. Welcome to my hardcore world. <laughs> and we've got a slight dilemma. Here's my wall that's supposed to keep the sniffers in, but quite a lot of them are actually past the wall. So I need to try and find a way to bring them back in. I think what happens is these one block gaps are enough for a baby sniffer to go through, but not an adult. Yes, just climb over, just like that. Yeah, good job. And I really wasn't expecting this many sniffers to have escaped. I think we're gonna have one group of sniffers inside the sniffer area, and then all of the other sniffers, which we'll call explorer sniffers. And I've got just the idea to stop future baby sniffers from escaping. We are gonna fill in these gaps with leaves. There we go. Baby sniffers will no longer be escaping. Time to test out if this new method works. Boom. And this is our new batch of sniffers. There's probably about maybe almost 700, which takes us, once they've hatched, to 2,000 sniffers. Take that lockdown line. And I can confirm that they're definitely not escaping. How on earth have they got up there? Well, this is what 2,000 sniffers looks like. Is my PC going to be able to handle this? What can we do whilst we prepare to have 5,000 sniffers? How about building a giant one? And snippers are made of some pretty cool colors, but what blocks can we use to match them? Let's go hunting. I've got to collect blocks from all over the Minecraft world. That includes these mesas, ocean monuments, and even the nether. And now that we've got everything that we need to build this giant sniffer, let's get building. One, two, three, four, five. And we have now got ourselves a giant sniffer egg. But if I've got a giant egg, what else do I need? A giant sniffer. And one, two, three. We are inside of the completed giant sniffer. Look at this thing. It's huge. And look at his cute little face. And now the giant sniffer can watch over all these normal sized sniffers. But we're still about 3,000 short. So we should get to making some more. And what do you know? <laughs> I ran out of space. And here is 3,000 sniffers. My PC is dying. Hello, baby sniffers. Welcome. So this probably takes me to about 4,000 sniffers. We're so close. Hey, you're not a sniffer. Get out of here. And here is what almost 4,000 sniffers looks like. I can hardly move my camera. And now we have about four and a half thousand sniffers. And we've now got so many sniffers that even my hatching area is full. But I've only got about 500 sniffers to go. So what am I going to do? Time to make some more sniffers. And I've had an idea. Since we can't really use this area anymore, let's put the eggs inside the egg. And I've still got all of these. Oh, we're going to have to come up with something a bit better than that. These are our final sniffers. It's going to be a little bit cramped. And the final egg. Wow. Let's place it. You ready? And boom. 
I'm having to look at the floor so that I have enough frames per second to actually make a good video. Oh, hello. Hello, sniffers. Look at them all. And here we are. And there's sniffer number 5,000. <gasps> there it is. In all of its two frames a second glory. I'm so sorry, sniffers. And I can now say that this is what 5,000 sniffers looks like in Minecraft Hardcore. I've now got an area to hatch sniffers, my very own torch flower seed farm, a giant sniffer, and a nice pretty pond. We've also busted some myths about the 1.20 update and seriously pushed my PC to its limit. If you liked today's video, please consider subscribing. Watch this video next where I made a netherite farm in Minecraft Hardcore, or watch this video that YouTube thinks you'll love.